How do you do? Just a word of friendly warning. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to, uh, well, we've warned you. Oh, listeners, 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 listeners. Do you know what I realized today? I realized that I missed Shark Week. And I'm a little I'm a little sad. I saw um Phelps race the shark. Yeah. Did he die? He put race in did, the did front, uh, quotation marks. I love I love see, you know what's great? Is that I didn't even know that was a thing because I missed Shark Week. Shark Week. I thought and what's horrible is next week I'm actually getting cable back. Oh. And I was mm. like, oh, awesome. I'll get to watch Shark Week. You're bringing cable back. Br- yeah. Brought it. Um, What's so- up, Grandpa? You got to get cable, Grandpa. <laughs> well, it's only because it was... You bar- missed your cord. <laughs> I, I, I do miss my corn. You missed your cord. <laughs> oh, my cord. Can I borrow your <laughs> cable account number for certain websites that won't let me watch stuff? Mm. Sweet. Ask- which, which kind of cable did you get? Ask the lady. I don't even know. Um, it oh. just was... We only got it because... Um, you missed wa- your cord. That's a. I missed my cord. <laughs> B. Um, it was just a cheaper butt like to because we wanted the like super high cheaper, cheaper butt wipe. wipe. <laughs> cheaper butt wipe. Jinx, Mike. But oh, is it because you're so uh, gullible and they talked you into yeah. it? Like, it's you a, know, Mr. Combrink. Uh, no, it's game of wordplay today in here. By the way, did you get it tied in with your telephone? They are like, <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but buying a brand new car. It's cheaper than buying a used car, and I'm going to explain how. All right, just come on, have a seat at my desk, and I'm going to try to take advantage of your Casey elderly Casey. mother. It just didn't add that much to the high-speed internet. <laughs> oh, okay. For a year, right? I have no idea. No, it's I didn't take care you. of any of this. It's how they get you. Mm-hmm. It's how they get you. I don't give a shit. Like, I just am saying. So you miss Shark Week. I miss Shark Week <laughs> a week before I got cable back. <laughs> yeah. He lost, which, of course he did. Phelps against the shark. Oh, but did he get eaten? No, nah, because it was a CGI shark. No, it wasn't. It yeah. was raw. It wasn't real. Anyway. How did they make the shark race? Did they put uh, uh, what did they, they put Ryan Lochte at the other end? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what they did was they G- trailed Gio. a, uh, Gio. a Gio. fake seal, and they had the shark chase it, and they filmed it. Was Ryan Lochte the fake seal? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I w- kept saying I was really hoping that, they, that Ryan Lochte would have been used as the test and been eaten. Mm-hmm. I said that same exact thing when we were watching it, so we must both really dislike Ryan Lochte. Yeah, or if they put like a the cardboard shark fin from Jaws on Ryan Lochte and said he was a shark. <laughs> Michael was Phelps idea. made me do it. It was his idea. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, welcome to episode 502 of Night of the Living Podcast. Did we have an episode dedicated to Lone Sharks? Bone Sharks? Lone Sharks. Lone Shark Week. Oh, Lone Sharks. Lone Shark Week. Well, are you a lone shark, like a lone wolf, or are you a lone shark... Like you loan money to people and at then very high them. interest rates. Yeah. yeah. Or are you both? Are you a loan shark, loan shark? Are you a lone wolf, loan shark? Hmm. Wordplay. Are a you shark a card in a, shark? A business oh, or a card sharp? Are you a sharp card shark? Wordplay. Anyway, welcome to episode five hundred two of Night of the Living Wordplay, uh, <laughs> a show that used to be about horror movies. Now it's just about puns and banter, as it has been for the last I don't know nine of our eleven years. Yep. <laughs> Nine eleven. Uh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. E. Yeah, you, e. Well, sometimes yes. you have to have a little bit of realness, like you have to <laughs> offset, never forget yeah. to offset the humor. Where, where were you? Where were you when it oh, happened? Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but just before before we get back to the wordplay, uh, mm-hmm. for any of you new listeners out there who are tuning in for the first time, are like, whoops. Um, this is uh, a show about horror mm-hmm. movies, mostly other stuff sometimes. Um, and we we will get around to that eventually. It's sort of like your laundry. Yeah, like you know you have to do it all week, and but then you keep finding things. You're like, oh, Facebook. Oh, uh, look what's on Netflix. Oh, so Making some, a murderer again. Sometimes they turn the other podcast inside out and wear it again. Yeah, uh, you can go back. Mm. Yeah, you can re-listen. We're like, oh, they'll 
We'll just post a horror hound show that we never a finished. Little Febreze, and you're good to go. Good to go. Um, but we will podcast. We will eventually get around to it today, specifically. Um, but let me go around the table because we now have a table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's an ovular table. It's uh, it's yeah, an ovular. ovular, and that's thanks to our patrons. Thank yes, you. we'll get to we'll we'll we'll, we'll handle. We'll handle our patrons very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's just begin. The the man with the golden pipes, the voice of uh, the voice of a god, Mikey B is, uh, is here today. Oh, I'm Mikey B. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, Mikey B. In the morning, oh, it is waking the morning. Up and getting your pipes rolling, <laughs> rolling down the road. His voice I'm is back. His voice yeah. is your coffee when you don't have coffee. Yeah, I'm the wake you up. Mikey. I'll get you up. Oh, Mikey B. Freshly back from D23 and San Diego Comic Con. San Diego Comic Con and D23. Yeah. He's a world traveler. And He's... boy, are my arms tired. So ah! if you want to hear all about Mike's adventures, uh, go to patreon.com slash an OTLP. We'll have a, a, a MP3 free to everyone. Yeah. To listen Very, to. very soon. Maybe even soon, soon. Maybe Maybe, maybe today if you don't have to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, continuing around the Oval. Uh, Andy's here with us today. He's got. He figured out how to spread his legs, yeah. even though uh, Look, the the setup yep. the setup has changed. I'm I'm praying with my feet. Yeah, it is actually you. You have very flexible legs and <laughs> and ankles, and I'm impressed because they're always up in the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Over my head. When Behind Andy gets fu- he, he fucks yeah. like a woman getting fucked missionary style. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stylistic choice. Yeah. If I could drive like this, I would. He it's, doesn't. He doesn't have to. Do he it had like hand that. controls. Yeah, with my feet on the dashboard. Maybe you should feet do, on the wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wheel. You uh, could design a new type of uh, dashboard that has pedals on the dashboard. Move to iRobot. You could be like yeah. the drummer from Def Leppard, with one arm. Mm-hmm. What? You could just steer your car with your feet. <laughs> he does everything with his feet. Is that how he drives for uh, real? Doesn't he have like little straws too, though? Oh, I don't know. He has little straws <laughs> for drumming for his hi hat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he can. Is that what he does? He like the, like those guys in wheelchairs can like control. They can make their wheelchair uh-huh. move by blowing. I I mean I feel like I saw uh, uh something behind That's the music awesome. where he was playing some straws. That may be yeah. more developed now. I don't know. What I hope I, for him I, is I, that I don't, yeah I don't think I want to lose my arm just so I can drive with my feet. You got to commit, Andy. Yeah. Pick a, you know, shit or get off the pot. <laughs> what I hope for the Def Leppard drummer is that someday we have Dr. Octopus technology so that he can be the drummer that he used to be. That would be awesome, huh? He, he could play all the drums. That's basically yeah. Neil Peart. He can do that without the Doc Ock stuff. Yeah, well, uh, but he's not doing it anymore. That's true. It's so fucking sad. Um, mm. The guy who called out Neil Peart and made my heart pert and my little <laughs> penis pert uh, is Freddie. Yeah. He's here today. That's not when, pee, that's pert. Uh, no. When you're done with uh, introductions, I want to tell the story of getting my mom's new car. I want you to. Yeah. Um, so that's that's Freddie's role on this show, is telling the story of his mom's new car. <laughs> yeah. He does it every week. We sh- This car was purchased in 1989. <laughs> so that's for you new listeners. It's just yeah. a thing we do every single week. Um, it's just a, it's a gimmick and a bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, it changes. I I mix it up. I change the characters' names, and uh, the DJ at the boards. Yes, is uh, is is Amy. She's new wave. Uh huh. She's uh, she's got her like off the shoulders. Yeah, I have a new wave. I do it like this. Yeah, she waves kind of like a like a royal person, but then she changes it around and it, it makes it look like she has a puppet. You it's don't know what, you don't even know what she's doing. Because I've been just doing the regular like back and forth open palm, but now I'm trying something new. Mm-hmm. Cup it. She waves her hand. She back cups and it. Forth. She cup does. And pull it. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh. And then, uh, and finally, it's me, Kelly, mm-hmm. and I'm hosting today because uh, I said I would. You want to? I you picked this movie. I did pick the movie. The it, main, the main it, attraction. Did you say what it was? Oh no! Today, well, no. Today's main attraction is Mountain Top Motel Massacre. So this uh, is a drive-in. Oh, Freddie's yeah. trying to pull the str- everybody's strings. <laughs> pull the strings. Uh, pull the strings. Pull the strings. He's the Bella. Who's the control freak here? He's I the, thought it was me. He's the junkie Bella Lugosi yeah. of Night of the Living podcast. I like to nudge. God, shut Make up. Sure you should listen to Origins so you can hear Amy uh, do exactly what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Well, nobody likes it, do they? No. no dad. I don't. Dad. I don't mind it. Um, podcast dad. Dad. Yes. I don't yeah. make me turn this podcast. Don't around. make Amy mad. Um, yeah. uh, it, yes, our 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 our, uh, ooh, our main attraction is Mountain Top Motel Massacre. 
Yeah. The driving classic from 1983 slash 1986 because it was filmed in 1983 and released in 1986 is officially by New World New World Pictures. Yeah. I like being able to whisper. Is that your That's idea good. of putting things in uh, parentheses? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Thank you. And uh, I like that Andy realized that. Um, <laughs> and I don't know what the fucking roulette movie is, but um, we'll get Andy to that too. It. And uh, and this 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 theme is mm, hotel motel holiday, holiday and it's hotel motel holiday and themed movies. Yeah, and we'll announce uh, at the close of this episode what won our poll for next week's Man Attraction. Hotel for Dogs. Oh, whoops. Was yeah. I not supposed to say? Dunstan we're, checks in. We're watching Alex Haley's Hotel, the 45-hour <laughs> miniseries starring uh, that bearded fellow, yeah. Roland, James Roland. He, is a, he was a handsome gentleman back then. Back then. Mm-hmm. Not is, anymore. Is he still married to Streisand? I think so. Yeah. He seemed, uh, he was on, uh, what was that show he was on? With uh, Colin Hanks. He was on some family TV show that was oh, pretty yeah. funny. Yeah, he was the dad, the, the life grandpa. In life pieces? in Pieces. Yeah, which yeah. was actually a pretty funny show. Yeah. Cut my life into pieces. <laughs> Is that how it's the that's opening the theme? theme? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Friday. Yeah. You helped your mom buy a car. Oh, yeah. I helped my mom buy a car yesterday. Picture it, 1989. Picture it. Yesterday. I spent my... Into- I got up early in the morning, went and had a nice Greek omelet. <clears throat> Delish. Then we went to the dealership. And I know the guy who sold my car to me at this particular dealership. Honest guy, friendly. That's his name, Honest Guy. Honest Guy. It's actually guy Honest G. And I, I was French. like, I'm gonna go find this guy as soon as we get there. So I, what I dropped them, my sister and my mom off at the entry entrance, entryway, the entrance. And it's a big day there. They're they are grilling hot dogs and they're giving away a TV. And uh, so were they also giving away hot dogs? Because they always say they're grilling them, but who gets them? Uh, they give them away. Oh, that's awesome! You give them away to anyone. Do you have to one. buy a car to get one? No. If I just show up there on hot dog day, you I didn't can get know a hot about dog? this. No. Yeah. If you just sign up for a bunch of car dealerships uh, mailing lists, you can eat for free uh, most of the summer. I, we got a free uh, umbrella when we were shopping for Freddie's car. Yeah, it's a good one too. It's big. Hmm. Anyways, it's the uh, it's big and it's pink. I dropped them oh, off at the entrance. I just like your favorite toy. <laughs> 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 the, the the air is electric because of the hot if you dog open and it TV inside. Giveaway. It's bad luck. Mm. Yeah, so. yeah. You don't want to open it inside. Keep your big pink umbrella closed. All right. Mm. Um. All but right, somehow, so it, instead of keeping you dry, it keeps you wet. Right. And it keeps you completely plugged up like a giant diaphragm. Mm-hmm. Freddie, hmm? yeah, are you guys done with your umbrella and pussy joke? <laughs> I don't. Wanna, I was like, originally doing a dick joke, and then I, I turned into a pussy joke. I feel like I trampled joke. all over it. Sorry. We'll c- we'll come back around to it. Continue. It's an intersex joke. Hot Inter- dogs. Okay, hot dogs and donuts. I uh, and the free TV. So you drop them off, and then you. I go, go to, to park. find a parking spot, and then I'm I'm like motoring my way in, I'm doing my power walk up to the entrance so can I can find this Can I ask you one guy. question? Yes. Were you worried that they would accidentally sell your car <laughs> while you were like walking around shopping? The, the end of the story kind of has a funny twist like that. Mm. Almost. Um, okay. So you're motoring so, your power walk. I'm then. trying to get to them and as soon as I get there, there's they've already been uh, one of the sharks has them. And then he's wearing an eye patch. You know, the, the car salesman. Did they have so, hot dogs in their hands and just eating them? No, they're not and eating like, hot dogs. You didn't dogs wait yet. for me. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, they're deep in already. They're already looking at a car. I've been gone two minutes to park. <laughs> they're already looking at a car. Freddie's there to be the discipliner. And it's a brand new it's a brand new car. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> oh, we don't have new car money. We're not a new car family. Yeah. Or even a new car extended family. We're a used car family. Right. Because who has that money? Ain't nobody got money for that. Ain't no mountain high enough. So um, I'm already like, oh, great. This guy, and I hear him say, it's going to sound crazy, which means it's a lie. This is going to sound crazy, but you can get in a new car with the rebates and the 0% financing. It's going to be cheaper than a used car. And I'm like, no, it's not. (laughs) This car that he was showing them was like $22,000. And the used car that I found for them ultimately was sixteen thousand dollars. That's a significant difference. Yeah, but they worked the magic of like stretching out the loan terms and everything to make the payment look smaller and blah 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 blah. Sure, the tricks, <laughs> tricks of the trade. So T of the T, uh, they're tricksy. We take out a bro- of, like this base model for a test drive and we bring it home and show it to Amy. 
And um, it had cloth interior, and I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> My buns only sit on leather. Uh, uh, I look up in their inventory that so they that have out. the luxury edition of the same car we're driving, a couple years old, six thousand dollars cheaper. And I'm like, can you pull this while we're out test driving the new one? The guy's crestfallen. By the way, I, I forgot to mention, as soon as we sat down with this guy, my sister <laughs> says, what happened to your eye? <laughs> and then he's what? like, well, when I was in my 20s, a uh, firework exploded in my face, and I had, had it took out the eye, the socket, it burned my other eye. Jesus, bro. It pushed my nose from here over to here, and he oh. pushes to his left cheek. He's like, I had a really great plastic surgeons, because you can't tell other than, you know, just the, the eye, eye, patch. The eye yeah. patch. So both your sister and that guy said too many things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, actually, my, your sister's boldness to it say, what, funny. what happened to your eye? <laughs> and we have to say, your mo- your sister's not six years old. No, no, my sister is 45. Older than you. Yeah. So <laughs> it was just funny. I looked at her like, Chrissy? <laughs> I was like, good job, I guess. And then I, well, this plays into the story when we're, we're driving the test driving the new car while he's pulling the other one out. Uh, and we bring it on the drive home to Amy. I said, Mom, do you think you can trust the judgment and guidance of someone who blew off half of their face with an explosive? In their 20s. I'm just saying. All right. Mm, well, maybe this them. guy's judgment's not the best. Well, you ended up getting. He thought sixteen thousand dollars was, put on, was more yeah. than twenty two thousand yeah. dollars. To set the mood, did you put on Katy Perry's "Baby, You're a Firework"? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he was a very but... nice guy, but he was using a lot of trickery, which I did not appreciate yeah. on my mom, who was an older. I'll lady. tell you, Freddie is because I we've bought two cars together. Yeah, and I. Cl- like my whole body clenches as I can't Three, handle it. When we got Dad's Cadillac, you were with us too, that's weren't true. you? So yeah. like, I can't handle the awkwardness and the negotiating, and I just I don't trust anybody, and I don't know what to do. Freddie is not afraid to be obnoxious. Yeah, he's not. It's, a, the, it's the only time that I'll be a, an out and out yeah. asshole to somebody. He's not afraid to say no. Can you can you tell us some of the the ways that you were forceful with this man? Because I kind of want to hear it. Uh, well, g- generally it was like he brought back uh. We we brought the the new car back and I said you got the other one ready for us. He goes, you don't want it's wrecked. And I'm like, <gasps> no, let's see it. It had a cracked tail light. Oh. And I'm like, this isn't bad. We can fix this. It's not like okay. There you go. Let's fix it. He's just he doesn't. You don't put up with the stuff. You're just like no. And then like my, my car had like a fender bender at some point on the Carfax report. And then you were just like, well, I want seven thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't and that I want dramatic. This. And I want that because it's been wrecked. It's been wrecked. I mean, it's been yeah. wrecked. Did it get you wet? <laughs> no. Okay. No, it makes her anxious. I had oh. to like get up and go like just poop. Like it, I couldn't it handle it. My gets, body couldn't handle the the awkwardness. It, it gets me wet a oh, little bit. Really? I love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you ever have to buy is, a car. Is that it, your fetish? You have Freddie go with? It took five hours. Uh, How often do you go to dealerships? It's exhausting. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Oh, great. Here comes Kelly again. Yeah. Yeah. So can I tell you, they come home with the new car. It's all done. Everybody's exhausted. And we're like, yay. Not the new car, but the new used car. Yeah. And, you know, I'm like, cool, awesome. <laughs> and I look at Freddie and I go, where the fuck is your car? And this is where I'm like, oh, yeah. When we left the dealership, I just hopped in their new car and came home with them. <laughs> I left my car on the lot. You goddamn idiot. No, it's gone. The, they the, sold the, it while it's gone. The, the so Freddie so ended up getting car. the brand new Altima. I got a brand new car! <laughs> I like how you, I love... Okay, my mother-in-law is the one of the best human beings on this planet, Shelby. She's the greatest. Mm-hmm. Does not drive. No. no. She bought a car, though. And she was very insistent on what she wanted. Yeah. She wanted a black car. She's like, I want it. I'm not going to drive it. <laughs> but I know what I want. It's adorable. Mm-hmm. And Freddie didn't even get a hot dog. Adorable. No. That was, I, the, that was the most heartbreaking thing for well, me. Well, no. I refused anything the man offered me. Because oh, I didn't oh, want him oh. to think that we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I get you some water? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you're like parched, like your yeah. lips are chapped. Yeah, and I'm like, it's well into lunch. It's like a police interrogation at this point where, you know, they, they, they start good cop, bad cop. Good cop, bad cop, yeah. He's like, you know, bring you guys some of them hot dogs. I'm like, no, sir. I have hot dogs at home, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to see the other hot dogs? <laughs> I didn't even see anybody eating them. The, the used hot dogs? <laughs> so the hot dog's wrecked. You don't want to look at that one. It's got a crack in its taillight. Anyways, we ended up, uh, we delivered the bum. 
Yeah, the Hiroshima bum. <laughs> the Nissan Altima bum. Nice. Bum? Yeah. Bum. The bum. You uh, get bum? We delivered the bum. Delivered the bum. Anything else? Uh, that that was basically the the culmination of it. When did Dracula show up? Um, that that evening, that very night. Hmm. I I I just wanted to hear about that part. Yeah, Dracula. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 We were up late last night. Well, I wasn't. These Joker faces were. Oh, not not me either. I no, went home yeah. and crashed Kelly, out. Kelly mm-hmm. and I went uh, went to bed at a normal hour. You jerkwads watched. We watched all the movies. Well, all the movies. We had our outdoor movie night. We're, we're still watching them right now. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> we are in the middle of one right now. Uh, we watched. We started with Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Mm-hmm. And the drive-in a, classic. We did it drive-in style in the backyard. Which was awesome. Super cozy. Yeah. And then it was a little too pleasant out to turn in for the night. So mm-hmm. we ended up watching Phantasm. It was gorgeous out. Yeah. Felt good. I was drunk. If you haven't seen the J.J. Abrams uh, remaster of Phantasm, it's really nice. Like the sound, the picture, everything is really, really well done. You can really like see like the strands of Reggie Bannister's bald ponytail. You really can. <laughs> you can see the tuning fork vibrate. You can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we watched House. 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 MD. House MD. Yeah. yeah. A couple episodes. A couple episodes. House. <laughs> Classic driving stuff. Oh, um, I have an announcement. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, you guys in this room know, but the listeners don't know yet. Oh, I'm disappointed that I know. I was hoping for a surprise. Freddie, hold my hand. All right, Freddie and I want to announce that we are oh boy. finally done with Frasier. We finished Yay! Frasier. Our long, our long national nightmare is finally yeah. over. I was so, so excited. I think uh, the president's going to give a speech about it pretty soon, mm-hmm. actually. Listeners. Mm. We're done. It's so you don't fu- have to hear about it anymore. Mission it, accomplished. Yeah. You know, and I told you this last night, and I wonder if, like, the moment I had the thought was the moment you watched the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> because I had the thought yesterday. At some point early on, I was like, I can't wait till they're done with Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> like, not in a mean way, just like, I, I was like... I just, just want them to be done. I, was, like, I, I just, think it was, like, Thursday or uh, Wednesday night. Oh, then, you know, I had I think we both yesterday. got a little, like... Like, you know, like, shiny-eyed. I got a little choked oh. up when he was hugging his dad goodbye. Sure, of course. Um, what happened at the end? He he moves to another city, but everyone thinks he's dying because he's giving all of his possessions that he doesn't want to take with him when he moves away. And he had a bad, a botched plastic surgery that makes his eyes water all the time. So I think he's crying. And then they overhear a message from his uh, plastic surgeon on the voicemail when he's out of the room that says, Frazier, this is the doctor. Sorry about uh the um the bad results today. I'm gonna try to do everything I can for you. <laughs> I mean, you guys and everybody's balling because that's they think a he's funny dying. setup. It was, it's it was funny. funny. So you think no, somewhere uh, that Kelsey Grammer felt like a chill down his spine? <laughs> <laughs> she had a single tear. Yeah. <laughs> anytime a sitcom ends that you watch, anytime they close the apartment door, yeah, yeah. and turn off the light, <gasps> yeah, it's always a little bit of a you know, it's always a little bit of a Unless tug. they pull the rug out from under you like the B in apartment 23. Yeah, what'd she do? They just canceled, canceled it. it. You didn't get any closure. Oh, you mean pulled the... I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> but, the you last know, episode, they literally pulled the rug out from under everybody. It does out help. from under Christian Ritter. Yeah. And she fell down. <laughs> it helps me say goodbye that Laura Linney was in the last season of Frasier, and I fucking hate her. Yeah, you, what, what, what's the word you like to use for her? She's a coon. Yeah. I don't get that. The C word? She's fine. What's wrong with her? She's Freddy, just, some people have you just, seen her face? Yeah. I don't, I'm with, I mean, yeah. I don't have any feelings about Laura yeah. Lenny one way or the other. I like her in Primal Fear. Yeah. That's she the really one that her. does the, um, she, she's like, tells you about Dunton Abbey. Yeah, yeah. she's, yeah. she's Masterpiece yeah. Theater now. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any issue with her. Everybody don't. has their But if you want me to have an issue with her, Amy, oh, yeah. I'll have an issue with Everybody her. Everybody has Please their do. All right. If you're my friend. She's trash. Who's that person I hate? Trash. She's uh, Tom garbage. Cruise? No, that, that girl that I hated forever. Julia Stiles. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Do you, you, you Cabbage Patch face. Her? Yeah, I forgot about it. You called her the Campbell Soup. Yeah. Oh, Campbell, Campbell Soup, soup not Cabbage Patch. Campbell yeah, Soup. Yeah, Campbell Soup. Eventually, I think you'll forget that you hate Lori Lenny. And then you can appreciate her. Do you still work. hate Julia Stiles? It's coming back to me now. It's now, all coming now that I remember back it. to me. I'm sure I have one of those too, but I don't know who it is. 
I, you know, I hate to say it because uh, I, I like some of his movies, but for some reason, Vince Vaughn gives me a real icky vibe. Because yeah. he's icky. Is he icky? Is that what mm-hmm. it is? I'm just got good uh, senses. He's got the icky sticky. Mike, do you have a uh, irrational hater? I'm going to have to think about that one. Yeah, I'll have to think about it, too. I'm just, I, know I, I know I do. Of course. Yeah. I just don't know who it You're is. You're a human. You yeah. should see Mike's face right now. <laughs> he is so deeply thinking. <laughs> he's like, well. He's a Travago guy. <gasps> I yeah. do hate the Travago guy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's awful. What's Travago? But I don't even—I don't even consider him an actor. Like the silver-haired yeah. dude, he's garbage, <laughs> <laughs> or even a person. Well, what is it about him that you don't like? It's a commercial. Did I, you have a personal encounter with him? No, because oh, okay. he seems—he seems kind of smug, right? He's got that smug look, like he got a better deal, or his <laughs> life is going better than yours. <laughs> That's he what it is. doesn't have a sense of direction with his style choices. Uh huh. And there's just something about him. Something in the way he moves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nicely done. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't like him. Uh, You're really, allowed to really feel that like way. Him. Yeah, it's I garbage. Wish I, could, I wish I could think of who mine is. You will. I believe in you. Yeah, you have a lot of hatred in you. I do. I actually well. never had an issue with Julia Stiles, but I think you're onto something, Andy, because I heard her on, um, what's the uh, Unqualified? Does anybody listen to that podcast? Anna Ferris. Yes. Yeah. She was on an episode of that, and um, I'm I'm gonna be in Camp Andy for the Julia Yay. Styles after. C- her. Come to Camp Andy. Camp Andy. <laughs> I remember Camp uh, Camp Camp Andy. Yeah, yeah I remember stuff. Camp Anawana. I know who you hate, Kelly. We hold you who? in our hearts, and when we think about you, it makes us want Wanna. to fart. Fart. You hate the kid Salute from Satan's Little Helper. Oh, that fucking kid can just go and jump but, off but, a cliff. But that's yeah. not your that's not your rational. That's like rational hate. That kid I saying boomies. I would boomies. like to I would like to travel back in time to when that kid was still a kid <laughs> and punch him right in the stomach. In the boomies? Just once. But like really hard. Like not so hard that I rupture anything or like do any kind of real damage, but just like and he's like, ooh, and he cries. Ooh, my boomy. <laughs> and he cries, and and I don't even tell him why. And then I get, and then I get back in the time portal and come <laughs> right back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. But when you come back, like <laughs> human beings have evolved differently. You have tails now, mm-hmm. and they're not skin tags. Skin your asshole, <laughs> they're Kelly, legitimate Kelly, tails. You're gonna oh. have one chance to punch this kid in the nuts, and then get yeah. a recharge the portal gun. Oh, oh, I, I don't know if I want to punch that kid, Freddy. <laughs> We can't get home unless you punch him in, the, in uh, punch him in the nuts, oh. Kelly. Oh, well, that's not nice. He didn't do anything to me. My, my Morty's off today because I got a cold. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on. Oh, wait, can I, can I just, uh, say one more thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate that uh, Trump is a piece of shit human being. Oh, oh right. Yeah. yeah, we all knew that. Um, That's our yeah, normal I, business. I just, but like, um, I just want to get on our new soapboxes that our Patreons bought, bought us. Thank you for our new soapboxes, <laughs> nice by one. the way. Does anybody else want to be in the room when he dies and just point and yeah. laugh? Oh. <laughs> I kind of right. want to. I'd, I'd, Sexy. Yeah, I'd, I'd dance on his dead body. I want to be in the room oh. when like everyone... like finally says enough like like i want to be there mm-hmm. when yeah. everyone even the like everyone is finally like <sighs> we're done okay yeah right. you're right all right let's just you okay we you got you, you all right we hear you you're right we figured it out let's now let's i just want to put them on one of those rafts put them in a box or like, an order you know, raft. push them out in the ocean and yeah. then shoot a flaming bow in yeah. here yeah. give him a, give him a loaf of wonder bread a jar of yellow <laughs> mustard and a, and a plastic knife i don't think he deserved even mustard just i want to throw grenades in mar-a-lago but yeah. but but andy he might not deserve it but we're human we're human oh, we're human okay. we're humane we have to be better, we're better you know what that. michelle obama i don't want to right now <laughs> I want to mm. stab him in his tiny penis. But you, you know, he means business when his tweets are polite. When he put that thing about the trans uh, people in the military, like it wasn't about these losers aren't going to be in the military anymore. It was very like drawn out and well, like typed and everything. Well, because somebody else probably yeah. wrote it. <laughs> yeah. But you know that he is doing some dirty shit yeah. when he doesn't uh, put sad at the end or anything like that. Sad. You know what I like? Real quick before we go on, uh, sure. When they first introduced the, and I'm not, pl- I don't know what anyone, when anything is or who anyone is really, but like I, I was at a restaurant, I happened to see like um, on CNN or MS, I don't know who it was, was talking about his new, the new press guy, 
and Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Yeah, that, that guy, yeah, Scaramucci. And I just found it like amazing that like but what what they were talking about was like they were complimenting his ability to basically lie. Oh yeah, they were like con- wow. like it was like what the what the reason this guy's great is because he can make anything sound like it's not what it is, and like it's gonna he's gonna be a great liar. You know, when I first saw that man's face, I was like, he is so familiar. And then Ken on Facebook posted a picture of hammerhead from spider-man comic he looks Mm -hmm. like remember that guy the gangster Mm -hmm. with the big flat head i do i want to tunnel under the white house like uh and then like put and then put rats Uh oh in the in his you want to be a crazy old lady i want to be the crazy old lady i want to put rats in there and (laughs) roaches roaches. but the rats and roaches have hepsi Mm -hmm. this is going to be our arlo guthrie folk song it's gonna be called rats and roaches (laughs) (laughs) The rats and the roaches and the sand. I want to put bones. dead animals <laughs> in the walls. the DC with the uh, drywall them in. Has roaches. anybody else experienced, though, um, more of the, uh, like, that this whole the transgender thing? Uh, has anybody else heard more people coming across the lines just to say that's not yeah. right? Yeah. I think yeah. that's. I think. I that's think it's been be universal. His, that it's, genuinely is going to be his his death note. Except for the universal piece, things other that he goes. Shit. Although, yeah. isn't that interesting that right. that would be the thing? Yeah. You know, because I know a lot of people are still like real, like you know, the, um, like trans acceptance is still kind of like a developing thing. Soldier Trumps. So, I, any and forgive using the word Trumps, uh, but being a soldier, I think Trumps that in a lot of people's mind. Like, oh sure, I think it's people great. who are normally anti-trans actually kind of go, you know, hey, you're a soldier, so you're not, you're one of the good ones, kind of thing. Yeah. It's that whole idea of like when people, you end, might be a freak show, but you put your life on the line for the right. country. Yeah, I'm when, the way when the someone country. you know does something of honor. And then there are also this thing. It also it does so much good for like the cause of whatever that right. thing is. I think it's that yeah. idea of like, wow, like this is obviously like you like you're saying when someone's a soldier that that is more important than anything else, and that someone that can be a soldier and also trans. I mean, that was a lot what we were hearing with like, don't ask, don't tell, and now, right? You know, it feels like that was we were another step, and now the thing is that's any anybody should be. Have, you know, if you want to serve the country, right, you should be able to serve the country. You, you think he's going to ban them from becoming no limit soldiers too? No limit soldier. <laughs> I have no idea. What Thought I told you. Oh. <laughs> you went hip hop on you. Oh, you mm-hmm. white people. <laughs> I just want the Secret Service to just not worry so much about doing a good job. That's all I'm saying. Ah. Uh. Hi yeah. NSA. My name's Amy yeah. Morris. Come mm. for me. <laughs> You're the mm. new Kathy Griffin. Come for me. If they came for everyone, come on me, bro. If they came for everyone who is constantly making death threats about uh, the whole country, we're going to be in Guantanamo busy. Bay. Yeah. All right, kids, are yeah. we ready let's, to let's hold step, up? Let's step down from our new Patreon yeah. sub boxes. Before but we, I just want to say, like, if yeah. you are trans out there, it's like I just want to say, you do matter. You're perf- You're fine the way you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we love you. Yep. Absolutely. And you show Absolutely. more courage yep. by being who you are than Donald Trump has ever shown in his life. Great. Yeah, so well just keep doing being you. I mean, he does walk outside every day with that hair. And that face. So... You, know what a, you know what a fucking burden is? Yeah. Looking at your goddamn sons yeah. every day. Yeah. That is a burden on my eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your sons are monstrously ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to like body shame, but, ugh, god damn. <laughs> I don't want to body shame, but, you look can body yeah. shame bad people. Yeah. They That's are, yeah. Like disgustingly ugly. They just, you know what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> if you go like to the late seventies or eighties, and you get like a board game, and it's like about like like rich versus poor, and then they have like the, the rich family <laughs> like in there, and then like half of the board is like they show the rich snooty family, yeah. and the other half is like the white. Tra- they look like the weird like uh, rich people where they draw them with like pig noses, and like <laughs> yeah. they just look like they're not real. They're yeah. cartoons. Mm-hmm. And they are cartoon people. This, <laughs> before we step off of our soapboxes, <laughs> I'm going to sit on my soapbox. We're going to do an hour's worth of this. I just want to <laughs> say that, again, the thing that blows my mind more than anything, almost, about his being elected is that he is a complete cartoon person. If you remove all and any of the policy, uh, he's still a... He's not a real person. No. It's like the uh, thirteen thirteen movies. It is. It's not a movie. It's not a movie. It's not a person. <laughs> he's not a person. <laughs> what is that? 
I just <laughs> can't wrap my head around it. Yeah, his his sons are like the physical manifestation of all the evil, gross stuff that is in his body. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Republican Party, you got to try harder, like to find someone odious, but who is not such an obvious cartoon person. Right. Try again next year. Try again. All right, mm-hmm. what do you got? All right, uh, patrons and non-patrons alike, go to patreon.com slash N-O-T-L-P. Uh, we, since our last episode, we put up Origins Episode 6, where Matt returns from Jamaican exile, and the N-O-T-L-P crew answer more questions from Amy's Horror Survey. <laughs> also a re- review of Tales from the Crypt Ritual. Um, and we have a discussion of a ghost story, which came out on Friday. Freddie and I talked about it. Yep. Starring, um, Casey Affleck and, and a sheet. Rooney Mara in a sheet. Uh, it's okay if you do it through all the sheets. So those are the two new and things we threw out there. Uh, a fucking pie. Since last time. And then this coming. Fuck that pie. This coming Thursday night, I will be Jason posting. Jason Biggs would. Finally <laughs> posting Film Mad Society Grave of the Fireflies episode finally sorry i've been promising that for a couple weeks that's that's real sad it is real sad yeah but listen to it anyway yeah Mm. (laughs) (laughs) all right kids we're finally gonna move on are you proud of us oh boy fuck trump hello boys and girls it's time for straight to video russian roulette Happens is hey, we're back. <laughs> Grimy a river. Yeah. We don't have to be back. What were you saying? I was just gonna say that what I would do is every day before I would come to the show, I would just wipe a bunch of grime on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I came here and I was like, they're never gonna. Die. <laughs> and it was like my, it was like my own, it was like me taking a shit in your crawl space. Uh, Where would you get like, this grime at that you rub on yourself? I you have, have a, I have three or four have, vats of grime. You have a vat of grime. <laughs> you get it What's from it, what is Leanne grime made grimes. of? Oh, grimes. <laughs> Mike E B. Did y'all miss the puns? Did y'all miss the puns? Because I did. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Sun's out, puns out. It was disappointing <laughs> that we didn't hear oh. them. All right, I Andy. come from a land pun under. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so for Russian Roulette, I watched Heidi. Oh. It's about Heidi Klum. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. She plays hide and seek. Why'd she leave Seal? Yeah. Just does Heidi Klum play Heidi Flies? Yeah, and uh, she goes play with, with Heidi Montag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they go in through Heidi holes while singing the song Heidi, 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 Ho. Heidi, 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 He. No, that's not what it's about. That was really mm-hmm. good, though, Andy. It wouldn't be awesome if it was, though. Mm. Get all the Heidi's. Um. And uh, Sweet D from It's Always Sunny comes in. They get like, high and they and get some D. They're like, hi, yeah. D. Hi, D. So uh, I knew I was in for something when Fozzie texted me <laughs> and said, did you watch this yet? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, should I be worried? And then he told me about uh, the performances mostly, and how they're yeah. awful, and he was right. Oh, no. Oh, it, the, the premise is that um, this guy runs a YouTube channel. He He's one of those pranksters. Oh, oh. boy. Yeah. Well, this, Lord. Is, this is becoming a, a big theme in movies now. <laughs> pranksters? Dumb, well, dumb YouTube YouTubers. kids. Oh, yeah. Mm. And his channel is called Booyah! Ah, yeah! <laughs> Which is kind of fun. In his Where ri- do I subscribe? In his ridiculousness. <laughs> but, um... Booyah. I, it's kind of an okay premise because it's this haunted doll, and of course you're not going to believe this kid because he's a prankster. So that hmm. kind of goes along with it. Like, it's a boy who cried wolf, basically. Is he yeah. the prankster? It's the boy who cried yeah. booyah. Huh? Is he the prankster? Yes. You mean the boy in the pool's at pranks? Um, no, I was making oh. a... Oh, my is God. He, what? I don't, I don't know what character you're getting. Or is he Isn't he that a character, character somewhere? The prankster? The trickster? The trickster. Oh. That's yeah. a tarot yeah. From card. Supernatural? But there's not a oh. prankster, though. There has to be. There probably is. There has to be a Batman villain called the prankster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is He just pulls he pranks puts on people? saran wrap on Bruce Wayne's toilet? <laughs> they eventually... No, they, look at all the... Ba- if you go there, there's some like goofy-ass Batman villains like the shoe, the shoemaker and the elves, and he's got elves <laughs> for minions. He's got a, a Riddler and a Joker. Yeah. yeah. I guess prankster. And then there's that there. guy. There's another guy that does things, too. I think he's the prankster. <laughs> the guy who does things. Now I'm imagining the prankster making Batman do Tune in Tokyo. Uh, <laughs> is he an obnoxious prankster? Or is he... Oh, he's a teenager, so he's obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. So uh, he they find this uh, haunted doll, and it just wreaks havoc on their lives. Hmm. Was this mm. supposed to be a cash in on Annabelle? Annabelle? I don't. I don't. It was made in 2014, I think. So I don't know when it came out. Yeah. I mean, Annabelle came out. I mean, so was it? Uh, I'll, I'll, find, I'll find out. I mean, creepy doll stories are creepy. I mean, they could. Isn't that based on a true story, Annabelle? So. Oh, it's totally true. This could be based same on year. that same yeah. story. But. The the doll didn't look creepy. It's like no. one of those dolls with those rag bodies with the plastic arms and hands. Rag doll. Rag. <laughs> Daddy's little cootie. <laughs> I always love hearing rag doll on yeah. the rock and roller coaster. It's, it's like, oh, yeah. rag doll's awesome. It, it's yeah. it's weird at Disney World though because they're like, hot yeah. tramp, living in a movie. Mm-hmm. Or when Booyah. they say, going down. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. But in the, the air. But mm-hmm. can Getting cur- BJ'd in an elevator. <laughs> can current dolls be scary? Huh? Can what? Can like like recent dolls be scary? I think any doll that's... Like a brat uh, doll? That's, yeah, or like an American girl doll. As long can as it's a scary. little like dirty. I think yeah. if it's got powers, it's probably scary. Yeah. Okay, because I feel like the look has a lot to do with the creepiness of the she's character. She's got the look. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. This was it because one of those. Um, she's sitting in an Adirondack chair on the poster. It's yeah. not that scary. And the if, only thing that they make her <laughs> she's chilling. They, they black her eyes out. That's it that make her yeah. scary. Her she looks well, like that, a, looks like a work. maple yeah. Thorpe photo. Oh, Freddy! And her uh, hair is real thirsty. <laughs> Oh, she did yeah. some VO5. Yeah. Oh, you know, oh, hot oil treatment. It's a hot oil treatment. Hot That's oil? for dolls. <laughs> this is a very timely movie because of all of the bizarre Vark stuff going on right now. Oh, yeah. He got uh, kicked out of Disney. Yeah. He got B- kicked out of Disney. Did you he fucked up. Bizarre Vark? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jake Paul, right? Yeah. What Have is you seen? He's a YouTube kid. He's, who a, was trash, on a, he's a trash person. Is he a trash on, person? Um, some Disney show, there, but he's a giant bark, piece of shit. Who wa- who watches this? What are you talking? Wait, wait we'll fill see. me in on what. Uh, my kids might. They watch a million yeah. YouTubers. Well, what do they do? There's a show on the Disney Channel that plays. It's Bizarre Bark, but they it's all about this um, YouTube channel where these. Well, it's not YouTube, but it's their own, they have their own channel and these. Um, so he's, he's not, not a real a, YouTuber. He's not a main character, he but is, his though. his he's role on that is one of the one of the shows on their channel as he's he does the pranks. Right. So, but have you ever seen just his like stuff? No, 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 not separate from that show. But I, I do awful. like bizarre. Bark. Like, who? How I'm does this kid have it. this kind of money? What does and he do? Fame? Can I say terrible well, white boy rapping and dabbing? He dabs on the haters. Okay, yeah. but you like him. Oh, I think no. You know well, what's funny? On this show. No. My kid told me the other day, to, like jokingly, to dab for the haters. So I wonder if he watches that. This mm. kid's terrible. Mm. On the it's show, so I he he's good, but I don't know anything about his Did personal he do life. I just saw the story. Morally reprehend. Okay. Oh yeah. What's the story? The story is that he was just ter- I guess terrorizing the neighborhood with just yeah. like being a general terrorizing like, like, the whole neighborhood. They were saying like, like Heathcliff. Matches- they were like, no. <laughs> yeah. no one should. They no were, like, one. saying matches on fire, doing pranks and. It's a bunch encouraging of like his fans to show up at his house. Nineteen-year-olds uh, yeah. in, in a mansion, yeah, in I, Hollywood. Yeah, and I guess he already had a show, and that's kind of why Disney picked him up was to do this one part on the show. But he was like a Vine star, you know, yes. like do it for the Vine assholes. It, so that they, show was never funny. Disney fired him. You said. Yeah, yeah, they've let him go. Is it because he's a monster? Is yeah. I, I think he yeah. must, yes, he's a terribly monster. untalented. Can we retire the the word haters too? Yeah, it's retired. Thank okay. you. I do want to say though, uh, I know we're going to talk about um, Comic Con and stuff later, but as a, I just want to share a little insight. As an almost forty-year-old man, if you ever go to a Disney convention and you want to stand in line for a Disney cast character, like from Liz and Maddie, um, <laughs> all by yourself, you will you will stand out like a sore thumb, and you will not do it. If you thought standing in like a line at Horror Hound for one of the stars you want to meet was like could be long, like you're not going to do it as a 40 year old man to Standing meet a 13 year old girl that you just think is really talented yeah it just I doesn't a hard yeah on. can't do it so <laughs> anyhow <laughs> so, so Heidi wasn't no, good wait I, well, I want to talk more about the movie I mean, we got on a tangent but uh, yeah. did you say the yeah, Iditarod this is a no. It's this a, is a movie that is the IMDb review describes as best found footage horror of the year, Andy. I don't who, who described that? Dusty, Dusty A. Oh, Dusty, <laughs> Dusty fucked up <laughs> with his Dusty ass. <laughs> Dusty done fucked up. Well, it's a found footagey movie, and um, it's a lot of the guy talking to the camera. But when he talks to the camera, it's very monotone, and all his sentences are run on. He just talks like this, and he keeps going, and you know. 
when he talks about the doll that they, if it, if I hear the the uh, the term what the fuck was that one more time in found uh, footage well i think that chaos baron of imdb yeah. uh sums it up best by calling it found footage killer doll film <laughs> that's his description of it <laughs> yeah, that's the that's, that's the review, review. Yeah. <laughs> were there any good jump scares or anything Accurate. not really I mean, it's funny cuz um this doll is like a prankster too Oh, everybody's Which, a prankster. kind of like turning the tables on the uh Does it do it the for kid. the vine? He's a little tricksy. And they're fighting Batman. His the way he kills the way this doll kills people is very elaborate. Yeah. Like Final Destination style. Like put him through a Play-Doh fun factory. <laughs> or at one point he skins uh, Jigsaw. she skins somebody and like stretches them out on this board. With those little doll arms? Yeah, and he he does like a she does like a scavenger hunt or something. <laughs> Can, can and, like write some blood on like I on the am <laughs> doll ass. No, stop it. Can we do doll ass. I hate you. Can we do doll tits? I'm gonna crawl under the table and doll goblin and, and shit on your feet. Can we? Can That's we get a crossover punishment. between <laughs> child's play and, and Saw, where Jigsaw dies? Oh, he's dead already in this series, right? Spoiler. Sure. I, I don't even know. I haven't. I've seen. I've one seen the trailer. Two. It's yet. coming back, right? The new one, yeah. I don't know, but let's kill Jigsaw. Okay. But uh-huh. his spirit possesses but Chucky. Fuck Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Jigsaw. Well, he already has Billy or whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, but he kicks that spirit out. Oh, uh, what if it's a, a jilted lover movie where Billy is jilted and and Jigsaw's in Chucky's body, and yeah. then Billy is like, "I won't be ignored, Chucky." I mean, he would be like, I won't be ignored, Chucky. <laughs> Stop playing games. Yeah, but Fozzie was right about, my heart. The, the, about the performances. They're real bad. Who's so Billy? they kind of ruin it. Yeah. Oh, Billy the Kid. The doll. Right. The doll from Jigsaw. Right, is, right. is that his name? I don't know. I don't know. Did I, the, the doll actually animate, or was it one of those? It like moved the, a couple times. Okay. Yeah. Like the Jabberwockies. And there was a... Um, <laughs> There's a there's a dog there's a dog death in this movie. Oh. So, fuck, but it's natural that. causes. It's okay. Fuck that. No. It's like a pretty brutal dog death uh, too. No. Yeah. It can yeah. happen off screen. If it it happened off to. screen, but they show the dog, the dead dog body. I, know. I know it's not real. Blah blah blah. But it's implied. Yeah. So still, it's like was it. the dog- pretty brutal dog death sounds like a song <laughs> that Death Cab for Cutie would write. And it has nothing to do with a dog or a death or anything yeah. brutal. It's just like some sad love song. Do we have any excitement about Annabelle 2? It's Kinda. supposed to be really good. Nathan was raving about it. Yeah. yeah. I liked, I tell you what, I'll go on record, and I've already gone on record. Yeah. I liked the first Annabelle. I did too. I liked yeah. it okay. That well, was, was spooky. Yeah. yeah. It was think... fun. Do you think it was fun? <laughs> I thought it was fun and spooky. I think she just looked yeah. stupid. She's just not scary. Did anymore. I like it, Freddie? I don't remember. I don't. Did you see Annabelle? Yeah, yeah. we saw it at the yeah. drive in together. Oh, yeah, we did. I thought you liked it. Okay. We all liked it. Or well, you could you go, go to IMDb. Don't take uh, don't take Andy's word for it. <laughs> take LeVar Burton's word. Uh, for it. And it, take this Andy, another Andy, Andy Von Skoyuk. Andy McDowell, who's been says, reviewing horror movies for the last fourteen years. <laughs> uh, that Heidi, OMG, like I don't hate dolls enough already. A what? Oh. And their so, first line of their review is, "This is a fabulous movie." And can I bring up the this creepy fabulous. doll thing? I I don't get it. My people are creeped well, out by dolls. It's like the clown thing. Yeah, it's I think like people it's exaggerate it. Overplayed. I think, I think people exaggerate a little Andy, bit. Andy, you're being cynical again. I know, I know, no, but I'm just with personally, Andy. I don't get it. I mean, creepy dolls are cool, atmospheric like touches, but I, I get it. Things, uh, inanimate objects with eyes are creepy. They are creepy. They are, in the, but in the I right... think people exaggerate. Same thing, like Kelly said with the clowns. Like, calm your tits about the goddamn clowns. Calm your tits about. Andy the doesn't believe clowns. you because he, he doesn't yeah. feel it. So, so therefore, it's not real. Emily, Emily is scared to death of yeah, dolls. but that's genuine. But like, I think most people are like, oh, dolls, so creepy. <laughs> Have you ever been up in your in uh, guts in the attic? <laughs> yeah, are, is that shit still up there? What? Which shit? Your dad's Halloween shit. Oh, my dad. My dad's attic has a bunch of these just homemade heads. Halloween decorations that it's have those, heads and stuff. It's those around. heads that hairdressers use for practice. Oh, yeah. yeah my dad would make his own Halloween put makeup decorations. on and stuff. And it's all just up in the attic. So if you go up there to get something, there's just yeah, a bunch of fucking they're just inanimate standing objects there with looking eyes. at you. All right. Can I? Yeah. Can I clear? Can I? Can I be the middle ground? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks like tourist trap is what I'm saying in my dad's. Attic. I yes. hear you. Yeah. I'm gonna be the middle ground. Okay. Yeah. What Andy is trying to say, I think. Creep, creepy dolls are creepy. Yeah, we all feel that. You go up in your dad's attic and you're yeah. like, "Those are that. Ew, that's kind of creepy." But yeah. you don't actually 
were you're not like cowering in terror. I don't have PTSD. You're not right. running from them. You're not worried that they're actually going to stand up and right. do something. You have so general I'm not, unease. I'm not stupid. It's a little uneasy. <laughs> what Annie's saying is that a lot of people are like, acting like don't even show me yeah, a that's, fucking that's doll. That. Thank you, Kelly. For, don't get to my even, mind. Don't show me a clown. Don't target, show me a doll. Don't, don't show go me. in there anymore because they have a whole yeah. aisle full of dolls. Ke- Kelly is like my interpreter. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I, it, so I get that. My words go through the filter of Kelly's mind, and he right. spits them out. They are no, creepy. I also think people he's are like, garbage. He's like my Sean Spicer. Well, <laughs> now Sarah Huckabee Sanders. But I'm, fuck that bitch. Uh, you lying cunt. We come full and circle. Your dad's a piece of flaming garbage. <laughs> so much garbage. Sorry. Woo! Oh. So thank you, Kelly, for. Uh, I'm welcome. afraid. Of people with the last name Huckabee. I'm afraid of Americans. <laughs> I heard, I'm afraid of America. I heard Huckabees. I heard movie. Huckabees. Yeah. Oh. All right, so Heidi, not a recommend or a recommend? Not a recommend. But okay. do watch the Shirley Temple movie, Heidi. Yeah. yeah. It's real adorable. Sweet. And uh, thanks for the heads up, Fozzie. All right. Even There's also he's a good, had to watch he's good the movie. people. Yeah. Real mm-hmm. quick, if anyone finds the 80s cartoon version of Heidi that they put on TV, and it had like the grandpa talked about kobolds and there were spirits and stuff. Oh, wow. It was like really cool. I've never been able to find yeah. it again. If you can find that for me, and I, I actually haven't tried to YouTube it or not, but if you know what I'm talking <laughs> about, let me Google that for you. If you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> shoot me a link. Let me do the work for you. If you know what I'm talking about, what you talking about, Willis? All right. Kelly Willis. Let's see who's going to watch the movie. <laughs> Shitballs. Oh, can I say one more thing? There's this, gu- this guy in the movie. He sounds like Leslie Jordan. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> without the accent. It's it's a very uh, unusual voice. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to imagine that, like, without the accent. Yeah. Well, Leslie Jordan's the best. I, you know, I didn't even think about what I selected for next week's movie, but it'll be funny when we get there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Movie gun, movie bullet. You ready? Mm-hmm. Wow. Freddie, put this up to your uh, temple. Okay. Pull the trigger. Your Shirley Temple. Oh, you died. Shit. Mm. Oh, I'm glad, I, I was uh, going to put it up to my butthole, so <laughs> it's a good thing you died first. And then we threw the gun away. Buckweed him. Shoot him in the butt, leave him in a dumpster. Mm-hmm. You're going to watch a movie called The Devil's Dolls. Uh, no. You know, I think I started this once just for fun, and then I yeah. was like, uh uh. <laughs> a serial killer's rampage is fueled by dolls. Carrying an ancient curse. Mm-mm. When a detective finds them, he innocently puts his own daughter in danger. The uh, devil's uh, uh, doll supports Planned Parenthood. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, you think like this guy finds devil dolls and then like brings them home to his daughter is what it sounds like? Well, he's probably a divorced dad. And he's like, uh, crime scene toys he again. He probably doesn't get to hang out with it. He doesn't have time to go shopping. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. like, Sh- I'm just going to steal these from the crime scene. I have yeah. to go pick my daughter up right now or my wife's going to get so mad. Absolutely Ex-wife. reasonable. Mm-hmm. You're right. Take an any, yeah, take stuff from a crime scene to give to your kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That like is... And crack. It's classic. It's from daddy's work. It's a thought that counts though, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's part. It's a chapter in uh, How to Raise Your Fucking Kids yeah. by uh, by Doctor uh, by Doctor James Fillmore. <laughs> All right, we'll be right uh, so back. I, yeah, I love it when I can see the wheels turning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys smell that? Is that smoke <laughs> coming from Kelly's brain? All right, we'll be back. Oh yeah. This week's main attraction is from 1986, Mountaintop Motel Massacre. Slash 1983. Directed by Jim McCullough. Written by Jim McCullough. The same. Starring Bill Thurman as Reverend Bill McWilly. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a fake name. Yeah, it does. Bill McWilly. <laughs> what about Major Brock? Why don't you just call yeah, yourself Willie McWilly? Yeah, <laughs> ground I would. control to Major William Brock. McWilly. Major Brock was Crenshaw. He was the uh, the the man who could not be shaken. He was not. I, I what I like about this movie is there isn't exactly a hero. No, uh, he might be the closest thing to a hero, almost kind of. Yeah. You mean uh, Crenshaw? Uh, Crenshaw, because it's certainly not uh, it's, the guy who was there to audition for the Aussie Davis biopic. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's certainly not. Um, I want to lie to ladies and fuck them on the road. Oh, yeah, I'm so sleazy. I love. We're gonna get to this, okay. listeners. But like, I love 
that guy and not because he's horrible yeah and they let him be horrible like yeah. the whole point of that character like you almost think that like in some weird 80s way like that that stuff's supposed to like they wanted him to be sleazy and irredeemable yeah well and also they didn't like tr- they didn't make any um bones about what that character was yeah What's like, his name again? Al. Al. Well, so, isn't it funny that he's the one that survived at the end? No, yeah. I think that's perfect. That's he, the, he cut and run. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but they made him out to be heroic at certain points at the end. Well, maybe, he? maybe the 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 takeaway here, and it's something I've been trying to say for a long time, hmm. is that people are not black and white; they are gray. Well, there is that. People that are sleazy can also be heroic, and and people are humans guys well here's what's true here <laughs> is what's <laughs> moment. and since you brought it up we could talk about it for a minute but i feel like in that in that spot where you think they're trying to make him heroic because he's insisting that they go hunt down evelyn i think he gets down like you he disappears during that and so i he's, think he's like he throwing, just went hid yeah so I he's think, like throwing throwing them into the wolves basically right? yeah you never saw him like com- confront her down there he's just telling them to do it so yeah. he can get away and then at the end of the movie he just shows up when the sheriff has already like fixed everything and he's like ah oh, ooh, good thing we uh defeated that old lady let's uh let's go to another hotel and you can uh, sing a song to my dick with your mouth yeah hmm. uh do you know barbara mandrell so what the setup is that uh what is her name evelyn so uh so evelyn owns the mountaintop motel and she has been in a mental institution in arkansas for about seven years because she's crazy we don't know what she did there's mm-hmm. no backstory at no. all but you're told yeah. that like yeah. you see her her kind of mug shot or a picture of her in a straight jacket and it's it's creepy and so you're just left to imagine that she must have done something violent um, to be locked up for seven years. But they let her out, and she comes back to her farm where it's just her and her daughter. Um, the, the, the daughter twist is my favorite thing about it because it's so out of left field. I'll get to it. So, <laughs> fucking, she comes, she's, we start off, she's she's outside. I don't know what even she's fucking doing, fixing a scarecrow or... But what is she, what's she really? She's doing generic gardening. She's just doing like, something in a garden. She's just yeah. like moving dirt around, yeah. like killing bunnies. But she's got a sickle with her at all times. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile, not a popsicle. Not a popsicle. A sharp mm-hmm. sickle. Meanwhile, uh, so her husband is is dead. Maybe she killed. We don't even know. Yeah. What happened to him? But her daughter's in the house worshiping the devil and trying to commune with spirits and her dead father. Um, because she, as, as the woman's out there, she sees like a guinea pig or whatever it is. Um, cause the little girl collects animals and she yells for her. She says, she's going to fucking kill this animal. If she don't come and get it. Well, the daughter's too busy trying to commune with the dead and her room, the set design in the little girl's room. And there, when IMDB still had message boards, there was like a great post about this, um, about how they, um, about whoever made all the drawings and stuff for the little girl's room. It was like really interesting, but you can't find it anymore. Um, anyway, so she kills this little guinea pig and it's like, you you get the sense that she's finally starting to like unravel a little bit. Again, she goes in the house, finds her daughter communing with the spirits and there's candles and there's animals. There's a fucking goat. It's fucking awesome. Kills her too. Uh, where did we, where did, where did you rent this from? Uh, you can only get it on Vudu. Okay, economics Vudu, econ- or you can get it on Amazon. <laughs> Something do. Yeah, it's not on iTunes. It's not on your typical. So you platform. actually can watch the whole movie on YouTube, right? But it is it is like someone's VHS transfer, right. and there is something to be said for watching it that way. However, there's a Blu-ray mm. out there, that and you normally, can get, which is basically what the quality we saw. <coughs> excuse me and normally i would say this kind of movie should be watched in the grainier version but this is a gorgeous like transfer it looked amazing and like i caught a lot of things that i didn't like a lot of details that i didn't catch so i would definitely recommend getting the better version you can buy it on dvd Mm -hmm. it's part of the midnight madness series this was a very seven dollars and seven but there were some things i didn't want to Mm -hmm. see so clearly like the panty man (laughs) and the bloomer man oh but that's part of it dear oh no i, I want to cough i wanted then to be super grainy yeah no i get you um maybe it's not on blu-ray it's on dvd though <laughs> uh so as kelly's dying over here well while he's coughing i'll say you that you can also water? get it 
as a drive-in <laughs> double feature double DVD paired with the initiation, which is also kind of a fun movie. I'm back. So you can get Oh, you lived, guys. So, and this was, the reason I keep harping on 1983 is because this actually played the um, drive-in circuit between 83 and 86, but then New World Pictures released it officially in 86. And if you look up the poster, Mm -hmm. um, it's like real corny, and it's got like a picture of a person who's not even in the movie. That's not Evelyn? That is not that actress. That that, um, poster was made for another movie entirely. Um, and it's it's got the tagline like <laughs> please don't disturb Evelyn she already mm-hmm. is. Um, it is not the tone of the movie at it, all. It looks like an ad for a local haunted house. Yeah, no, the movie's a real slow paced, not like madcap as that as that poster would lead you to believe. It's not ma- it's not meant it's to be funny. over the top or any. Yeah. There's like no humor in this movie intentional at all. Um, and it's not too corny. Like I mean, if you like kind no. of put yourself in the time that it was made and well, anyway. So she fucking sickles her daughter to death, and then she's like, oops. And uh, (laughs) they have the funeral. Um, The preacher that was friends with her husband is living in the one of the... Reverend Bill McWilly? Bill McWilly. Willie McWilly. (laughs) The hotel also, by the way, is set up in, like, cabins. It's not like a Bates Motel. It's like cabins. It's like the... The place in Niagara. Yeah, or if you've yeah. ever been to, this is real common in Louisiana. My parents yeah. actually lived in one of these. Yeah, for ye- like I think years uh, down in when my dad was working offshore, uh, which means he was like on a oil rig. But like they lived in this ki- where they filmed the Kingsman, I th- or not the Kingsman, <laughs> all the Kingsman, uh, all the Sean Kingsman. Penn. <laughs> uh, that was like their old cabin complex, but um. This is actually real common down where they film this in Louisiana that they have these campgrounds that are like motels. Yeah. And the, or actually permanent residents. I did not know that. Yeah. But I knew those things existed. Um, so anyway, so the, the Reverend Bill McWillie lives there or is staying there Reverend indefinitely. Werewolf. Reverend Werewolf uh, is off um, attacking Marty. Werewolf McWillie. <laughs> Um, and so, like, she gets an influx of people after she's murdered her daughter. Yeah, that's always the way. Always. But she's now, she's completely unhinged. Yeah, she mm-hmm. just gave up the ghost. Yeah. She's just like, I'm going to do it then. And um, so you get the first, the, you, you, get, you get you get the reverend, he's already there. Um, you get this newlywed couple who just married, um, Mullet, Molly Mullet. <laughs> Marty Mullet. And, and, uh, mm-hmm. and yep. Hat. Was she hat mullet? Was she Tanya? No, no. Tanya was. <laughs> Tanya, that's the most. Yeah, that Tanya is white, was. That the, is a white trash Tanya. name. Yeah. That she's ever a, was one. She's the girl that survives. You know Tanya oh, I was or Tanya? Prissy oh, that okay. survived. Prissy was the one who got killed in the. Oh, Prissy. Yeah. She's goes. the one with the bigger boobs. Prissy, big tits. Oh my yeah. god! You know what I said on the origins in the intro? I was like, we really objectified women in this episode, and I don't think we do that as much anymore. Not as much. Well, this movie did it. Yeah, the I'm movie did. I'm gonna comment on it. Can I say that their thin white t-shirts in the rainstorm was a nice touch? That was awesome. You know what <laughs> bothered me though? They're like they see Al's car coming down the road and they flag him down with their titties poking out of their shirts. Yeah. Um, and then they're like, "Oh, thank God!" And he's like, "Get in!" And they just run and get in. And I'm like, y- "You don't need anything from the car. You don't need anything." No, I was more. Mm-hmm. Uh, d- Interested that Grab they, both, your purse. They, they both sat in the front seat. You know what else? Yeah. I thought There's was a whole back seat back there. So. I know. I thought it was interesting that one of their shirts was completely drenched Ooh. and clinging to their body, and the other one looks like some production assistant came over and just made the girl dunk her uh, boobies into a bucket mm-hmm. of water. Yeah. Like, and that's probably part of the film quality difference where they're like, no one will know that we deliberately only wet the area around your nipples for <laughs> to titillate the audience. <laughs> uh, so they're not going to notice the rest of your shirt is bone dry. Tanya. Yeah. Tan- Tan- or Tan- she was Prissy. lactating. Um, the Juds, the 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 Jugs. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> Winona Jugs. <laughs> but we we haven't actually gotten to Tanya and Prissy. No, yet. sorry, right. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. Stop Kelly. jumping. Guns. I got excited because well, they were a collection wet of people making their way. <laughs> so anyway, but are, you, are we still on the mullet couple? Yeah, these mullet couple were. Yeah, the, they had the, the wife, same hair. <laughs> they had the same hair. They, they could have been the same person. It's like Alan Jackson. You just put a cowboy mm-hmm. hat on him. It's like a, it's like making Jack Tripper into his twin cousin. He just put a cowboy hat on, and uh, now like, he's now he's coy. They're like Spike, and yeah. Snoopy. 
Exactly like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, who? Spoy. Thank you. Um, so then you see, so they get there, and I find it interesting that, that the new wife is like real annoyed with him that he that this is the hotel he picked, which understandably, but like, well, give this guy a break. He, he, if he can only, if you should know that he can only afford a place that's seven dollars a night before you marry him, and that was a little yeah. too much for moldy, moldy cabins. Yeah. That should have been a place where you could just stop, like a rest stop, and mm-hmm. stay. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. free. Without paying anything. For free, yeah. And that even is like a bit much. Yeah. So uh, you get them. So yeah, so these two girls who are singing badly. And again, it's all deliberate. That's what I love. Like they, this movie wasn't trying to tell you that these girls had a real shot at being country stars. Help me make it. No, you do the harmony. Help they didn't me. harmonize. No, you do the harmony. Part. Help me make it. Yeah. They were, See, perfect. They were we're going to make we're going to be big stars. Mm-hmm. We're going to be big stars. That was a really accurate depiction of of Tanya and Prissy. Yeah. So their really car good. breaks down in the pouring rain and who comes along but Sleazy Al, the mm-hmm. ad the ad executive. But yeah. here, Sleazy Al has a car phone. He if calls this, his secretary babe. Yeah. Babe. If this movie was made in 83, I didn't know they had car phones back then. They've had yeah. car phones since like the 60s. I didn't know that. Cellular technology was invented in like the 40s. Okay. Do I look like a I cellular call them, scientist? I call them the parties. I'm not saying you should know that. The 1940s. Parties. parties? <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not saying you should know that well, new wave, because... Amy. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. I'm yeah. just trying to. And it was. T- it was like a small. I mean, it was wired in. Yeah. With one of those the the doily ones. Yeah. The doily, the doily cords. <laughs> the, the yeah. Doily so, but it was spiraling. smaller. Yeah. Because when in my mind, I yeah. always remember the like, Zach like Morris. Zach Morris had had a, you yeah. know why it was smaller is because the base that has all that technology in it is built into the car. Yeah. Ah. So like you know, when they the other ones had all that shit built into the receiver itself, and that's why they were like the size of the. He Tells every, like he keeps encountering people like I have a car phone and nobody's like you have a what in where? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was actually impressed about his uh, reception. Yeah, yeah, that, they, now, it is a mountaintop. In, yeah, in eighty three. In, yeah, uh, Louisiana, but they're at the top of a mountain. Yeah. And his secretary, he just has a hotel guide. Yeah, that was Siri. His he called her baby. Siri. Mm-hmm. Baby. He was gross. He was gross from beginning to end. Yeah. Um. He had a gross mustache. <laughs> He had these like gross, like it looked like he had kind eyes, but really they were the eyes of someone who is like undressing everyone they see, be it man, woman, or child. <laughs> yeah. um, but every person they see, yeah. he just wants to but like touch them. It, it gets grosser eventually when they oh, finally get to the room. Amazingly gross. Ugh. So these two dum dums, he's like, he says, all he says is, get in. And that's how he says it, get in. And they're like, okay. And they get in the car with this guy who, if this was real life, he would then go and, and probably rape and murder them and, yeah. and, and just dump their bodies down a, down a hill. But anyway, he almost, I mean, that almost happens to them, but like separately. So they go to the place and he's like, I'll get, he, he lies to them and tells them he owns Columbia Records. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's mine. and they fucking half-ass yeah. believe him. Well, like, he has a car phone. Prissy, yeah. is like leery of this, and like you almost get the feeling like Tanya doesn't give a shit one way or the other. She's like, just, I was gonna fuck him anyway. She just kind of yeah. wants to like have fun, and maybe this will work out. Maybe it won't. And Prissy yeah. is like, I don't want to fuck some dude with my cousin <laughs> <laughs> when if it's not gonna benefit us. <laughs> Uh, um, but she's kind of on the fence about it. They get to the motel. <laughs> Who's the one that asked them? Asked him, "Do you know Barbara Mandrell?" That was Tanya. Yeah, that's the most eighty sentence I've ever heard yeah. in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are people. Mo- I would say that at least seventy five percent of the people listening to this show right now don't even know who that is. They should have been like, he could have been like, I'm close personal friends with Captain Crunch. Mm. <laughs> this is the first time I've heard the name Barbara Mandrell <laughs> in twenty years since like nineteen eighty. Does anybody remember? Six. The Barbara Mandrell show. Yeah, the, the Mandrell, Mandrell sisters. sisters. Yeah, I do. There was a there was a scene that haunted my childhood from oh. that, where the Mandrell sisters get electrocuted. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember okay, that. I, okay, I, I, I'm I'm sure that your what you tell us is true, <laughs> but knowing you, I'm sure that you got it confused with something else. I think it was supposed to be a joke. Was it like a Halloween episode or something? It was well, a joke was that went horribly like, awry, and they really yeah, get electrocuted. Like they're they get like. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to see if this exists because they they do that like uh, electricity thing through them and their hair goes big. And I just oh, that remember being like something like yeah, just, uh, yeah. It's supposed, was supposed to be funny, but I just remember seeing it as a kid, <laughs> and it really just uh, traumatized me a little bit. 
a little bit. So I'm gonna. I'll find it. I think it's I'll the first it. time anybody's even said the name Barbara Mandrell. We've we just summoned her. Is what we've <laughs> we done. summoned the electrocution of Barbara Mandrell right, sisters. Right, you check your bathroom. Wait, see she's there. Do you, do you hear that? Do you hear that? <laughs> it's country music. Hi, it's me, Barbara Mandrell. <laughs> is she alive? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think so. Mm. She is now. We summoned her. Yeah. No yeah. one knows. She's. I think she's a professor at Hogwarts. Now. She's eternal. Mandrell sisters. <laughs> professor Mandrell. Say it three times. So anyway, Drell sisters. <laughs> I can't do it. Stop. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't we'll do all it. get electrocuted. Stiff as a leather, flat as a board. Anyway, so they they get there. Then there's also Crenshaw. He is the Aussie Davis uh, stand-in, um, and he might have been there first. But he's an old construction. He he he's a. Um, carpenter and he travels around and he just i needs, am totally unshakable he is unshakable he really is the hero of this he movie. Is. yeah he's he's very laconic and just very like the thing again though when everybody was saying like he doesn't react to anything i almost feel like this guy wouldn't no you, know, he's you get the cool feeling cucumber he, he's been he's seen every fucking thing he lived through like all the civil rights shit yeah you know he's been through some shit yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, this old lady killing me, he was like, well, it's like you said, he's been covered in roaches before. Well, yeah, there's a scene where, well, first off, she had to be collecting paper bags of roaches for a while leading up to this moment. Well, I mean, they were in her, her daughter had them. Yeah. So, so oh, yeah, they had a terrarium. So then, uh, who else comes? Is that it? Yeah. yeah the sheriff the also, just as a side note, we didn't cover this. Aren't you glad, listeners, how, how you glad? detailed I make this? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like you lived the moton. Moton? The Moton. I right. live the Moton. The Motown? You is Motel Moten. Massacre. Shop, shop. <laughs> <laughs> I, we got to make that happen. We should. There's so many I only have roaches <laughs> for you. Woo-woo-woo. No, I can't yeah. think of Motown without that John Mulaney bit where it's like, <laughs> Hello, Mr. Barry Gordy. <laughs> you give me $100 <laughs> for all my songs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's an aside. <laughs> that's a, um, so you get you get Crenshaw. So the sheriff at the funeral, you could tell he's like not convinced that she didn't yeah. murder her daughter. They they ruled it an accident, but he's like, hmm, yep, hmm. a sickle mishap. Hmm. He's 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 a little he's a little concerned about her. So back to the motel. That certificate says whoopsie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Also, there are a lot of main accents in this movie for some reason <laughs> that's set in Louisiana. Um. <laughs> that's what yours is going to say. Oh, <laughs> it's going to say whoopsie, whoopsie daisy. daisy. Whoopsie daisy brought on by poor diet. <laughs> Lack of exercise. <laughs> um, I love you. Yeah, did anyone, then that's, that's all the guests, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. So now she starts just kind of playing little pranks on him. Although, well, the first prank is like a, a murder attempt. <laughs> right. Her do- So again, the little girl had all these animals, so she has a poisonous snake. I guess not too poisonous. She's like a bad Amelie is what I was thinking when we were <laughs> yeah, watching it. I was like, this is like evil Amelie. Evil it, Amelie. It was kind of charming, though. She seemed like she had fun with it. She was having, she was having time. fun yeah. at first. Yeah. So she lets this poisonous venomous snake loose in the married mm-hmm. couple's room, and it fucking bites the dude in the face. Oh, I wonder, yeah. I wonder, before we go that, I want to say we saw him in his big white bloomers what it looked Diaper. like he had a white cardboard yeah. box on <laughs> His- <laughs> like he had to make like he got a, p- a piece of cardboard with instructions uh, on how to fold it into underwear yeah. oh yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> They were so like at a truck stop. <laughs> like after you've sh- had like Wait, truck stop diarrhea because you're a trucker. It was uh, <laughs> Captain Crunch when you finished the box. You you could turn the box into underwear. Oh, they were so blousey. He was so poor. That's yeah. what he because he can only do $7 a night. Well, That's I said like it's where yeah. you, get, you get him at truck stops in a little yeah. out of a machine. And again, you know? I don't want a body shame, but his body is weird. <laughs> it was so pasty. <laughs> well, it's like they worked on different areas then. Like everybody yeah. was like long and had like a little yeah. bit of a gut. He had like um, <laughs> an ombre body where it was like pink and like slowly descended into white. Yeah. Mm. When you okay. said ombre, I yeah. was like bad ombre. <laughs> bad ombre. <laughs> you meant the color ombre. Yeah, the ombre. Yeah, like okay. Neapolitan. Anyway, yeah. um, so he's not the first the gross body either. We'll get into <laughs> more of that later. Um, rats. Are so then, then, then she lets rats out into the reverend's room. Um, and they're kind of friends. Like I, I feel like she him and the rats. No, no, him oh. and her. <laughs> oh, it's like Ben. Oh, hey, rats! How you been? 
she lets rats out and they wake him up and he's like Ooh. but they don't do anything to him but he he, just, he he throws kind of more of a fit and then you get to uh Crenshaw, who co- who wakes up covered in a thousand roaches oh sure yeah the reverend is very perturbed about the rats yeah. that he wakes up with on his bed um, it, it's still a pretty calm reaction i would have freaked out more well, they're did. in Louis. I mean, wh- does this take place yeah. in Louisiana or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's it's like northwestern Louisiana. Yeah, almost Texas, and right. then also they filmed some of it in central Louisiana. And so you figure if he's been there a while, he's probably seen a rat in his room before. Yeah, so you've seen scorpions, snakes, palmetto bugs, uh, Cajuns, God- Godzilla, all kinds it's- of stuff sneaks into your cabin. Um, giant crabs. So uh, he- wake up, Sean. <laughs> You got the voodoo. She let she let a bunch wake, of Cajuns out. Wake up. We're going to make some <laughs> Creole. Ba- she got a bag full of Cajuns. We're going to make some you Creole. Make <laughs> Creole fish. And we're going to make them into fame. Get oh, up. I got Gator. If you wake up. Gator. You could have some of my gumbo. Gator. Gumbo. I'm going to bite your ear. Gator. <laughs> anyway. So he's perturbed. <laughs> yeah. She lets a bunch of roaches out yeah. in um, Crenshaw's room and they get on his fucking face all over him. And you're Everywhere. right. He does wake up and he doesn't like it. No, he's, he's like, just, oh, goddamn roaches. <laughs> and he, brush, he brushes them off and goes back to sleep. Yeah. He's awesome. And he, he has his wooden awesome. open toolbox with everything he needs in it. Yeah. And he keeps it with him even when he's in the bathroom. It's all, always there. It is. And that's a great establishing shot. Yeah. Not a shot, but an establishing thing. Yeah, he's like, <coughs> I always have my wooden toolbox that it's open so I can reach my hammer and my nails because there was a time when this thing came out of the thing. I had to board things up like instantly. Yep. It was um, top priority to protect my personal being. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> so then she's like, It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to Al and the girls, which is yeah. like the only real subplot. Exi- the married couple kind of has a subplot, but like this is the only only other real like major B story in that this guy is trying to fuck these two girls. Yeah, and it uh, is so pornorific. Mm-hmm. It is. A begr- I mean, if it's meant to feel sleazy, and it does. They're in the bathroom taking their clothes off together and talking about. Why, like this guy, and he he's just sitting out in his bed with the with the blanket pulled up to his tummy, and he's yeah, just laying like there. A little boy waiting for story yeah, time. You got to describe his little blue panties. Well, we haven't got to those yet. You oh, don't know got he's to. got those on yet. Yeah, he's it's got first. He's got the concave chest of a man who has well, never worked what? out a day in his, his yeah. body. His proportions are so weird. Again, yeah. it's like if long sli- body, a little bit of belly. I said it was, if Slender Man was a, a human, yeah, uh, that'd be he's him. Not that odd. Uh, he's you're built- all making a lot. It's you're just blinded by the panties. <laughs> nah, he's 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 built like um. Well, he's built like, like an 80s m- guy. like Mr. Meeseeks. Uh, oddly enough, <laughs> yeah. that was we were just talking about yeah, earlier. Uh, he has so Mr. The, Meeseeks body. I love the girls' panties. conversation because Prissy's like, "This is no, this is he's lying," and she, the daughter's like, "Ah, well." She's like, "He's kind of cute, though." Well. That's all it takes for her to want to fuck somebody with her cousin. He's just got to be kind of cute. And, like, she's down for it. She's like, why don't you come out and have fun with us? And that's, I mean, she is. Like, I feel like Tanya also only kind of half believes him. Oh, yeah. But she just wants, she's like, let's make the best of this. I want to get some D. Mm -hmm. I want my cousin to get some D because she's, like, oh, she's uptight with her big old titties. She's just always up tight titties. Prissy. That's what we call her back in uh, in um, Scum Blob, where we come from. Everybody just calls her up tight titties. Scum Blob, Louisiana. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> she comes out of the bathroom with no bottoms on. And she's like, do not go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> she climbs in the bed. They, they start fooling around or whatever. What, did you get to the point where they're singing to him? Well, well that was okay. earlier. Earlier they had sang yeah. for him, and then he was like, very good. Now, why don't y'all go on and take off all your yeah. panties and come what? back and sit on my penis, and well, we'll they, talk about it. Just tomorrow. that scene where they're trying to harmonize, and he's sitting there on the bed with the shirt off, yeah. leering at them. It was awesome. Okay. No, I, awesome in what it, for what it is. Okay. Like, it was <laughs> so awesomely gross. Yeah. Like, that was just a level. Like, they got it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, they nailed what they were going for. Yeah. It's creepy. It's sleazy. It's super creepy. Everything about okay. this. Yep. Oh, I thought your mic malfunctioned. Nope. I'm good. No Sorry. 
mic mic and his mic are functioning yep. at 100 percent capacity we're good um so then uh prissy so now evelyn's like fuck it we're this is no 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 more games she pops up through the the trap door that is in the floor of every bathroom yeah and fucking sickles the shit out of prissy and drags her down into the tunnels under the what a uh, horrible hotel. place for a trap door yeah you pop up somebody's pooping and it's all in all of them yeah you're just um, like i he, like she, to surprise people when what, poop she did and... she did pop up while the carpenter was taking a shit right yes which is an yeah. amazing part of yeah. the movie mm-hmm. and he's like i'm gonna take a shit yep so she killed that now she's killed prissy um and uh there's a storm raging outside and so she's gonna start going around basically killing everybody the sheriff like is trying to get up there because they called in the snake bite um but he can't like a, a tree fell on the road up to the, the place, so um, Al's car is trapped on one side of the of the tree fall. The sheriff can't get his car past it, so he has to get out and walk up there, which takes a little while. Meanwhile, she's she's going around and just killing everybody. And what what there are so many great little atmospheric touches, like where like all of a sudden you realize that at some point Evelyn has put on all this crazy makeup on her face. You didn't see her do it. It just is done. And you're like, at some point, while she's been like, between murdering people and putting snakes in rooms, <laughs> she like has just fucking gone to La La Land, put all this fucking makeup on her all face. All the blue eyeshadow. Oh, it's awesome. She had a lot of great crazy faces in this movie. Mm-hmm. She played crazy yeah. like nobody's business. This is a really spooky movie. I kept trying to say, it's. I don't know if it's a good movie exactly, but it's. I really like it. It is really spooky and atmospheric for for what... I guess some I don't know if anybody considers it a slasher, but um, it, yeah, I mean that's I exactly feel like what it's it is. a slasher. Is that yeah. what you could say? Okay, yeah. Well, I I don't know if I don't know from slashers, but okay. Um, but it, you know, it, it it's definitely got a little bit more character than you know the the, the bigger franchises. It's not a franchise at all, you know. But um, it's, not yet. Mm, it's real oopy spoopy. Um, the music's real good. They they take their time with stuff. Um, it is a slow burn. Uh, just so you know. Yeah, there's like I, cause I fell asleep near the end, like I do. Yeah. Um. So I watched the last. Like you fell asleep, Elise fell asleep, Andy fell asleep yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. Um. So I watched the la- the last like twenty minutes or so uh, this morning, and it's them basically hunting. It's it's uh Crenshaw and 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 Sleazy Al. Sort of. Al goes down yeah. there and then disappears. But you never see yeah. him again. I think though, though, what I like the the first part of the movie all the way up to the ending. That yeah, it's paced a little bit slow and it's a slow burn. But there are so many goofy parts yeah. between it that I'm keeps you, know, you in. It kept me in. Oh yeah, the, the characters the goofy, are very colorful. They're, they're very goofy characters. But then towards then, the end, yeah. it 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 does kind of. You're just you're following climax. the. The sheriff through the tunnels. You're following Crenshaw through the tunnels, and it's like, okay, are we getting anywhere here? I also love so like Crench, like Al stupidly tell like he's like, we got to go down on the tunnels and hunt her down. And Crenshaw, being the smart motherfucker that he is, is like, no, that's fucking crazy. What the hell is the matter with you? Oh, look to to get to the part you mentioned. Am I talking too much? No, no, okay, you 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 know the movie better than anyone on earth, including <laughs> the people who made it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's none of them alive probably left. Probably not. So Crenshaw is waiting. He doesn't realize the Reverend's been murdered. They kind of built like a little friendship. So they're gonna leave together. And the Reverend's busy being murdered, and Crenshaw's like, well, <laughs> I'm gonna get can out you, of here. Can you call back, please? I'm. I'm busy being murdered. <laughs> I um, uh, your call's important <laughs> to me. <laughs> no, it says he's being murdered. I can't. I'm not. I'm not going to leave a message. I'll just call back. Just leave a message. I'll just. I'll call him back later. <laughs> Beep. I said. Oh God, now I'm talking on the recording. <laughs> I know I said I'd have those reports to you by Monday, but I got real busy being murdered. <laughs> Does he have an out of, out of office reply in his email? Yeah. Too? <laughs> do. Um, if you're trying to reach me, I'm busy being murdered. <laughs> Please I'll, forward any urgent messages to Crenshaw. I'll have limited access yeah. to email and voicemail. So, uh, anyway, Crenshaw, while he's there, he's like, well, sh- I'm here. I might as well use the fucking toilet because I got to take a shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he goes to take a shit, and while he's doing it, 
the fucking trap door starts to open up at his feet and this guy being a resourceful <laughs> motherfucker that he is yeah. has his toolbox next to him and he just hammers some nails into it and traps her down there yeah i love this guy he is the hero he's yeah, the fucking the hero. only thing that would have made that, he does uh, it would have made the movie the only thing that would have made that scene better is if he had finished taking his shit <laughs> right sat back down <laughs> yeah like, i was like <laughs> yeah roaches uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> So he yeah. sounds like Cleveland, by the way. That's not an exaggeration. <laughs> or she like p- pokes from, her head out guy. and then she smells it like, oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> drops back down. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, so Al tells him, he's like, we got to go down there and get her before she gets us. Like nobody thinks about just running off into the woods and running. We got to get her before she gets or just, us. <laughs> or just sticking together because I think four people can take on an old lady. Well, they keep leaving the girl alone, like in a room with yeah. a, like a trap door. It's well, it's there's you a, know. I mean, the car, yes, you can't actually get all the way away, but you can get pretty far. Yeah. And maybe you can even move the tree once you get yeah. there. You don't know. So, so anyway, they go down into the tunnels. He convinces him to. And then we lose track of Al. He's just gone. Crenshaw, meanwhile, finds her and she kills him. But now the sheriff has gotten here. The girl tells him what's going on. And he's like, oh, calm down. Calm down. And he goes down there and he knows her. This is, again, this is a touch that I love. Is he like the other people are trying to sneak around and like sneak up on her? Well, Crenshaw, the sheriff is co- trying to call her. Like he's trying to like he's calling her name. He's like Evelyn, come out, come on. Like enough this now, Evelyn. Yeah, that's what he says. Stop and, stabbing people in the face with a with a scythe, <laughs> Evelyn. It's a it's there's like something. You come cool on up, get yourself a bowl of gumbo. We sit down, we work this out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like he just he he knows her, and he's Got like some fried cornbread up here, some beignets. <laughs> He's not Cajun. Gator. Uh, he's, he they're they're be. way more Texas. Than yeah, than that's more Texas. You're Gator. 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 <laughs> it's just anyway. more fun to be what Cajun. What was that from that New Orleans show and you would always do the thing? <laughs> NCIS? New oh, Orleans? We gonna have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Bakula. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we gonna have some fun. All right. Uh, Gator. Gator. Anyway. So, the sheriff kills her. Blah. They all leave. My favorite part is coming up. Mm. My favorite fucking part of this movie. The thing that the first time I watched it made it for me. Um, it's morning. It's dawn. You see just real quick a shot of like little feet, like person feet. Not the band little feet. Little person feet. <laughs> little person feet. Not little person feet. Just person feet. This is a little person feet served with a um, confection of sugar. Um... A little, a little finger reduction and the um, beignet. Little okay. finger reduction? Little finger reduction. Ah, uh, Peter Baelish. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Is it like a midget juice? How do no. you say? No. How do you say little? Mm-hmm. Um, a little juice. A little juice. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you see just a shot of feet. They're just driving. All of a sudden, they show that the fucking dead girl has returned from the grave what I love to think the about... The dead daughter. Yeah, the dead daughter. Out of nowhere. We have had no hints of right. the supernatural since the beginning. Um, but they did, like, when she was doing it, it was like she became possessed for a minute. So all of a sudden now, we have, like, a weird zombie, like, pet cemetery daughter returning. And what I love to imagine, what I love to imagine, is that she was coming back to kill her mother. Well, they already fucking did it. She's going to get there and be like... Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I, I shaved I just my go, legs for this. I guess yeah. I just go back to the mm-hmm. coffin. The underworld. But anyway, I just—it's a very spooky shot because it's like you f- sort of forgot about her. Yeah, and it was never hinted at, and it's just like as these people are over here, there is a dead person walking through the woods and they back don't, up they don't to the hotel. There's no pomp or circumstance to her arrival. There's no musical cue. Nothing. Nothing to force the audience to react to it. It's just very matter-of-factly presented that she's walking in all looking like deadly friend. Yeah, and she's gonna... And, like, you just imagine she's just going back up to the motel where she grew up. It's so fucking spooky. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it is pretty spooky. It sets it apart for me. I like spooky. <laughs> Do you, what's the worst way to die? Do you know what it is for me? A bunch of old men putting sickles in my head and voting against health care. And then I'm <laughs> naked masturbating. I like. What did she say? 
to suicide. I like what? I like spooky. Is it spooky? Yeah. yeah. I like spooky. <laughs> <laughs> and then she rubs her vagina on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I have a little respect for the dead. <laughs> That guy's awesome. Anyway. R.I.P. R.I.P. I mean, this was a charming little silly movie. It's a cool, like, I think it has that. that Isn't great. Well, that's what I said. Right. It felt, it felt like a, a like a discovery to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like one, again, it's a, if you like sort of the feel of those it's old. Like, like almost grindhousey. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's definitely. Yeah. And it's just, it's that drive, it's 80s drive-in. Yeah. yeah. Um, You know, you this, like the corpse grinders. It's a little different than that. But. No, I mean, but it's kind of like, this is a kind of movie they would throw on a double feature with that. That, or I really like, like, I think of this in the same kind of boat as, like, Before Dawn, mm-hmm. um, which is another one I really like. I'm not, like, a big slasher person, but I like these weird ones. Yeah. Um, so this, Before Dawn, what was the other one I said, even? It even kind of reminds me a little bit of Sleepaway Camp. Mm-hmm. Like just the vibe what, of the, it, the, the, grime, the prankster the, stuff, the griminess of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Ke- Freddy said reminded him of uh, Texas Chainsaw, which I definitely agree with. Oh yeah, definitely the especially last the, part, especially the sets. I, yeah. I totally get that. But what's nice, it's like it has that. It it definitely is like um, pulling from that, but then they give it this other flavor. Mm-hmm. Like again, they like where I feel like the set design and the feel of Texas Chainsaw is very like chaotic and like you know fucking right up in your face i feel like this like kind of wants you to look at everything and see like they want you to in texas chainsaw too but you don't get the time to do it like um whereas i feel like in this like you kind of can look around and be like and i know we talked about how weird the people were in this movie but i think it helped oh with the atmosphere yeah for sure we we left out blue panties you were really excited to talk about this (laughs) you take it andy that's basically it. Blue panties. They look like they're made of sateen. So this man, yeah, they're, they're very high cut. Gr- you hear us? Ow, wears panties, yeah. which make him even grosser. You, you know, we're talking about blue theory. panties. You might be thinking that we were talking about Tanya or Prissy. Nope. We are not. No, yeah. Al, mm-hmm. who goes like he listens. The girls are arguing about whether or not to fuck him in the bathroom. What he does, <laughs> what awesome Al does. A for awesome. A for Al. <laughs> He gets out of bed. A A awesome he, Al. He goes over and he's eavesdropping on yeah. them in the bathroom door in his sky blue, like really soft, high cut mantis. I would call them Smurf blue. <laughs> Smurf blue is uh, accurate as well. While they yeah. did have cell phones in their cars, they did not have uh, boxer briefs yet. Nope. No, no, yeah. yeah, that was not an option. And, and cardboard panties or or Smurf blue or, yes. or Smurf mm-hmm. bikini. So. But he's they listening. wore bikini briefs. Oh no, he was wearing bikini briefs. They were they were big briefs though. They were big. They, they were, were not quite bikini yeah. briefs. They were yeah. they were bikini brief adjacent. Mm. Yeah, they were modest and immodest at the same time. Yeah, so, or, or they truly think? were not brief. Maybe they were bikini briefs, but his body proportions are so odd. Oh. Yeah, that well, they, that's how they fit <laughs> on him. Just to, just to verify, <laughs> I looked up a full body picture of Mister Meeseeks and a picture of uh, Al. And I think that the blue you see is just where he wiped away his person makeup, and it's uh-huh. Mr. Meeseeks. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think Al is Mr. Meeseeks. You're right, just like sense. the Joker in Batman, yeah. Tim Burton. You mean the, pr- exactly. the prankster, you mean? The prankster. Mm-hmm. He rubs away the flesh-colored makeup just around where he needs his bits. He's yep. Mr. Meeseeks' penis. <laughs> well, it's because he's, yeah, he's getting ready for... Anyway, um, he's just such a piece of shit. He's listening to him argue. Yeah. It cracks him up. Like, he chuckles. He's like, yeah. hey, I'm about to get somebody's... Uh... But, and then he just devolves into yeah. these gurgling sounds because he's disgusting. <laughs> Does he redeem himself when he admits that he's not a record producer? No. <laughs> it's weird that he decides to confide in her at that moment. But then she falls in love with him and they... I think that's uh, what they were going for is, like, I, to make a genuine connection between these two characters. I don't know. Before he goes down to the, the mines... They they have like this loving kiss. Yeah. I I think it's a I, I think um I mean you could certainly take it that way. I really think that they're just these people in this like crisis situation. Yeah, they they've made a bit of a connection. Um, and I don't think he's meant to. I think he confesses that to her because he's scared. And I mean, he is a person. That that is a great thing about this. He is a little bit three dimensional. You know, he has this moment of like where yeah. he's like, ah, I might die. I, I I just want to tell you that I'm not really a record producer. I still really want to fuck you. Yeah. But like, I just want you to know before we decide whether or not the, the you're amount gonna- of uh, double entendres leading up to yeah. their uh, will they won't they encounter where they're yeah. like. 
All you you almost feel like the girls don't get that he's insinuating he wants sex for a long yeah, time, right. where he's like, well, "You I, can audition for me over yeah, and, and over, over yeah, again." Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like he's trying to really get it across yeah. them, and they're just not picking it. They're up. like Beavis and Butthead. Like, oh, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, we want to audition. He's like, "Yeah, you can audition without your clothes on and uh, bent over with my penis inside you <laughs> over and over again." And they're like, "Will you make us a star?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy wants us to make a record. Well, yeah, I guess it was as if like him being in his blue panties during the audition wasn't enough of a wink. He wanted to make sure it was really obvious with all the other entendres on there too. It's uh, he's gross. He's gross. But he's gross. But I like back in movies where people were were allowed to be ugly. Yeah, not ugly, but just real, real people that we call ugly. We call real people ugly. It's like movie ugly. (laughs) Yeah, like we're movie ugly. But well, I think it's because there was no budget for this movie. People. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. I do. I, I sometimes I long for a return to the uh, real people casting mm-hmm. the ugly uh, yeah. us average uggos on film. Like if I was walking around in my underwear on film, you'd be you'd be horrified. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> you're a cutie patootie. Oh, thank you. But no, I mean people would be like this guy mm-hmm. this record producer yeah they can audition for me all night long you can audition. you hear that patreons right you can audition for me all night long mm-hmm. all night long all night all night, <laughs> night. we are gonna have special um perks for our patreons where i show patrons. them pictures of a uh, me and my the, the blue panties oh, oh that's and, awesome i could photoshop them and on, the yeah. cardboard panties actual too. polaroids that you have to mail to them yeah. is that for our beelzebubs yeah Mm-hmm. All that, right. That's for the secret level well, you, above. You, you, get, you get one or the other. You get the cardboard panties or the blue panties. That's Crenshaw yeah. level. Yeah. Is this a, is this an alternative to getting the ass eating? They have to pick one or the other. No, that goes with it. Oh, okay, yeah. it goes yeah. with. Ass eating comes with. Um, Mountain Top Motel Massacre. Mountain Top Motel Massacre. I, I really recommend it. Again, it was fun. If mm-hmm. you like a weird drive-in style movie, if you can watch it outside, if you have. It's so choice. If you have the means, <laughs> I highly recommend it. You should watch it outside. Yeah. Um, how it, about that? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> um, it's just it's one of my. I mean, I, so how I, did you stumble upon this? I watch this. Uh, believe it. Well, you. Why? Why would I say believe it or not? Like you'd be like, <laughs> I do not. Um, remember um, WEBN's basement tapes? Eddie Fingers on sixty four. He would show like B movies on Saturday nights. Anybody? I, you have to remember basement tapes. Basement tape, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was local. Yeah, yeah. It was just uh, it was, it was like a one of the local rock DJs. It's like nineteen, so like he, our Fox affiliate, maybe that did. Yeah, that? it was. Gen- well, it was sixty four or six. Oh, that's right. It's yeah. not like who was it? Was he a horror host? No, he was Eddie Fingers. He's I know, a, but like he he present them like a horror host. Yeah, kind, kind of. He would sit on the. It was like Wayne's World. It really was. I mean, he he just was Eddie Fingers. Yeah. And he had like a box of fake VHS tapes. And he would mm-hmm. be like, tonight we're going to watch. I'm Eddie Fingers. WBN. And then he'd play it. And then every now and again, he'd come back and say shit about WBN. Yeah. If you're like WEBN. The Lunatic Fringe of American FM. Live from Frog Mountain. Yes. You had to have the the frog that. I can't do it right now. It's too early. Yeah, I yeah. think if WEBM was a movie, this is yeah. probably pretty accurate. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. They did the frog because it's web. Ah, uh, I never did get that until right now. Yeah, webbin. All right. Hmm. Um. Anyway, so that's where I first saw this. Um. I don't know. I was like thirteen, maybe. Um. He and I just thirteen <laughs> going on fourteen, and it's stuck in your mind ever since then. That's mm-hmm. really, that's well, really I've cool. watched it three or four times mm-hmm. since then. Um. Mm-hmm. And every every few years, I would get like a a boner for it, and I'd yeah. seek it out. And yeah. Well, that's how this thing came out. Like uh, I always ask Kelly, like, what movie would you really want to do for the show? And he always brought this up. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad we did it. Yay! Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for indulging my uh, drive-in boner. It was fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun. You think it's fun? It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It was fun. It was super fun. So next week, our patrons have mm-hmm. voted. They've yeah. spoken in our Ooh. hotel motel holiday in poll. Yes. Next week, <clears throat> we what were will... the choices? Do you want to tell people? <clears throat> yeah, because the listeners, you don't know if you're not a patron, you did not get to participate in a survey. This is for patrons. We All still right. love you, though. Now, 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 Milton. All right. Okay. So we have the collection. Yeah. From 2012. Ghost Keeper from 1981. Ghost Keeper. Private Parts from 1972. Not starring Howard Stern. <laughs> the City of the Dead. 
mm-hmm. starring Howard Stern. <laughs> Vacancy. Uh huh. And our next week's pick that's got the most votes. Yep. 1408. Starring Stephen John. King. Yeah. yeah, Stephen King's 1408 starring John Cusack. Johnny Q's. Sam, Sam, Sammy Jacks. Sammy Johnny Jacks. Johnny Q. Johnny yeah. Q's. Um, yeah. I like this because I feel like uh, I haven't actually I've never seen this I've read oh, the short really? st- I've yeah. never seen yeah. it either I've read the oh. short story yeah, me too. that it's based yeah. on um, but I feel like I've seen like clips of it where it feels like there's at least a moment where like John Cusack and Sam Jackson are kind of doing the um, the shining whoever the manager yeah, they reference that at the beginning kind of, of the shining where they have was. a meeting in the office yeah yeah, yeah Stuart Ullman St- Ullman that's it yeah yeah uh, that was a real nerd moment for us, wasn't it? It really was, and that's why people tune in. They tune yeah. in on the radio dial. Yeah, they tune in Tokyo. It's 1983. And how it's going to work is you can continue to vote on the other selections for our third hotel, motel, mm-hmm. holiday, and main attraction. Yep. And those are there. If you're a patron, you can get in there and vote, and whatever wins the next round, we'll move on to the next round. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's let's talk about the kids that we love, the producers of this very show, the Beelzebubs. Yeah, I'll read a couple and hand her around. Brooke in Pleasant Grove, Utah. Thank you. Thanks, Brooke. You're awesome. Eddie in Suaresville, Pennsylvania. Eddie, I like your name. It rhymes with things. It does. It like spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ready, uh, Betty. Fr- Freddy. Freddy. Freddy Kugel. Kuga. Johnny Marzetti. We've got Adam from Wa, Washington. Adam. I was just gonna say Wa. <laughs> From, <gasps> wow. from, I've been I've been to your state. It's lovely. From Prosser, Washington. Alex and Tree. Hey girl. Oh, what's up, you guys? And boy. Yeah. And boy. And your new puppy. Yeah. Oh, yeah they got a new puppy. dog. We love you guys. And from Syracuse, hope, New York. Hope to see you in Indianapolis. We've got Alberto from Simi Valley, California. Alberto, thank you. Long time listener. And Brandon from our good friend Brandon. What'd you do to Brandon? What happened to him? I done to kill him at Friday the thirteenth. And he has a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Brandon. Hey, yeah. Brandon. Happy yeah. birthday, Brandon. He's just a little baby. He is a baby. So you should baby, be listening yeah. to the No Sleep Podcast From if you're not. Ba- Batavia, Ohio. I still have to listen to... He sang <laughs> on one of the songs on there, and I have Did to he? listen to it still. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we have Bill from New York. Hi, Bill. Bill. New York Hi, Bill. City. New York City. We have Blake from El Paso. El Paso Blake City. read my book a long, long time ago, and we talked about long, it. It was very nice. Long. And Mark Aww. from San Antonio. San Antonio. They call it San Antonio. San Antonio. Don't That's you? where you get the real salsa. Let me know. We I met feel him. like I heard that once. I had to say that every time we met yep. him, too. Yeah, he's at the pig. Flying Pig Marathon. Oh, can I read four? You can do whatever you want. All right. <laughs> so... Oh, wait. I don't have to read four. You can read as many as you'd like. Just, well, read, just read, read the rest. So, oh, my God. Oh, you want me to read the rest? Yeah. All right. Michael, you're in Waterford. Michael. That's Maine. Michael. Are you an Michigan. archangel? Not not Maine. Are you? Am I? Remember that movie, Michael, with Sean Travolta where yeah. he's an angel? He was an angel. Mm. Are you that? I just want to fuck women all the time. Isn't that ironic? Did he want to fuck all the time? I don't don't you think? Yeah. A little too... Um, but Michael, thank you very much for being a patron. Um, then we have Jeremy Ikasi. Ikasi Asukasi. We love you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you very much. We will s- almost certainly be seeing you um, in in a in a month or so. Knock on wood. You better not. And then Elise, oh, thank Lord. you very much. That is hey, my girl. lady. And even though, uh, you know, she she uh, she fucking donates, even though she's a, uh, you know, she's a patron in other ones. Yeah, she is. I'm a I'm a patron of her. Oh dear. Uh, with my dick. Oh, 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 oh my god, you pay her money to have sex with you? <laughs> <A> penetrate? <laughs> no, I pay with my dick. Oh okay. Yeah. Can't get changed for that because it's too much dick. Oh mm. damn! You get a dick and four nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can you break some balls? <laughs> I'm very excited for... Uh, Get changed for a phallus. <laughs> this next one. Yeah. yeah. Amanda. <gasps> Ka- Hi. Amanda. Also known as Commanda. Hello. Poor thing lives in Pittsburgh. Also, hi, Becky. <laughs> you guys are awesome. What's the haps? Yeah. Congrats on the new job. What right? is yeah. the haps, Didn't Becky? she just go to a new job? What's the haps? She got a new job. Yep. 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 Uh, Ernest, our friend, our IRL friend, mm-hmm. also, another one, mm-hmm. uh, I hope to see you as well, 
Um, he's his smiling face is always welcome. One of he's the kindest addicted. people I've ever met. Yeah, honestly, mm-hmm. super kind. Actually, all of our patrons are super kind people. Except that one. You know the one. You know who you are. Mm-hmm. My mom. They're out there right now. They're they got a kitten halfway underwater, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh, <laughs> they think they're talking about me." <laughs> Ernest is also in San Antonio, by does, the way. Does, he actually, does the patron actually drown them or just torture them? I, I don't know. I'm uh, still getting to know. Maybe you. it was rescuing the kitty. Could be. From water. Yeah. Trying to pull it out. But this is supposed to be the bad patron. Yeah, there are no bad patrons. W- what if it's the, bad, bad the girl from the bad kittens. seeds? <laughs> bad seeds. What's her name? Oh. With the pigtails. Ooh. Oh, uh, um, what was her name? Sandy Amba. Jill Goodbye. Whoopsie Daisy. Jill uh, Jill <laughs> Chipsby. Daisy. Yeah. Chipsby. Chipsby. Ramona Singer. Uh, and then finally, What's but right? not uh, but not leastly. Yeah. Jim, from right here in oh, <laughs> uh, the state of oh. Jimmy B. Speaking of bad seeds, you know what I mean. Oh. I just made a. A bunch of bad seed all over myself. That's disgusting. Oh. Sorry, that was disgusting. Well, thank I, you so I much, Kirby Elzebubs. Thank yes. you, guys. You're the best. Um, R- Rhoda, right? Was it Rhoda the, the bad seed? Was that the name of the kid? Frodo? Rhoda. <laughs> Frodo. Oh. Wasn't it Rhoda? I don't it was know. Elijah. Now I gotta watch it again. Wood. It was uh, Sandy Ammon. Mm hmm. Um, anyway, so uh, that's our show for this week. Tune in next time uh, when you'll hear Nurse Piggy say. Nurse Piggy? Muppets in space. Uh, Thanks, Mike. No problem. (laughs) All right. Thanks so much, everybody. I was was a Muppet show thing. Sorry about that. See you. Bye, Katie. That's better. Bye. Bye. Frankenstein was wondering if he should go to bed when his old boss. Severed human